Let me start that again. Hold on. I was warming my tea up. Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Welcome to my kitchen. Hello. Yes, we are doing fruit roll-ups. Um, and carrot cake is your favourite dessert? I love to hear that. Book in. Hello. Oh, guys. Today is going to be a good day. It's going to be fun. I've been looking up, looking forward to it for like a whole week. Well, today we're making fish tacos, which I love. I'm making chicken tacos for exceed with beer batter. Um, we're going to start with making roll-ups. I'm drinking Thai tea. So this is Thai, I think, red tea. Um, my dad bought it home from Thailand for me. I love it. Um, good morning, Ellie. I was, good, I was about to message you yesterday, uh, last night, and I was walking to Pilates. I'll message you this afternoon, or you re messaged me. How are we doing well? Jay, welcome in. Roselli and Potzla. Margo, who else is here? Liz, how you doing? If you're watching the VOD or you're here lurking, I hope whatever time and space you're in, I hope it's a good one. Uh, today we are making, we're going to start with doing um, carrot cake because we need to get them in the oven to let them cool so then we can do all the icing and stuff, bring it together because that recipe... If all goes well today, and I won't need a test over the weekend, we're going to have carrot cake on the website um, on Monday. We're going to have to get some more colourful food, guys, as well, because we've been getting a lot of brown food on the stream, on the website recently. We had hot cross buns, crumb cutlets. What did we do this week? The, um, the risotto and then carrot cake. It's all a bit orangey brown. We need some colourful food. Um, but then we're also going to be doing some fish tacos. We're going to make some beer batter. I bought non-alcoholic beer because it was cheap. And Exceed said it's not too bad, actually. So we're going to be making um, beer batter with that. Nice, beautiful, like, rich flavour. Um, I've got fish. He has chicken for him. And uh, which one did you get? I think it's called a Cooper's. I'll have a look. Um, but before we go into the stream, let's go back to last time on... And what we did on Monday, um, we did chat GPT cooks. So basically we asked chat GPT a lot of questions. We got a few recipes. Um, and actually not too bad. There was a few things that I changed and tweaked, but I wasn't, I like, wasn't too bad. Um, one of the biggest things is um, that afternoon, I um, got a recipe from ChatGPT, and the measurements were wrong. Like, so I asked for it in grams as well as cups, and I noticed that they were completely wrong. Like, it said um, a teaspoon, no, three teaspoons of baking powder, and it was like, eight grams or something like that but when in reality I measured it and it was only three grams and I'm like holy shit like that's putting triple or like double or triple the amount of baking powder in a dish is dangerous um so yeah I think that you know it's not perfect and I don't think it ever will hopefully it's never will be because it put me out of a job um but yeah we made some concoctions we did this was an affogato we made an apple tartatan, which was actually really good. Um, I am not a massive fan because it's very, very sweet, and I'm not a massive sweet fan of desserts, but um, it was four, five ingredients, wasn't it? And it turned out really well. We, uh, the eggs benedict was really great as well. The portions were a little bit large, um, in com like for the holidays compared to the actual meal, but it would turn out really good. So we had a little competition. Um, and ChatGPT was 3-0 and versus us. So, Ali, thank you for 11 months. I can't believe that's 11 months already. Thank you very much for your resub. Um, so, 8 subs, resubs, gifted subs, and 13 new people in the form of follows. Oh. Ali, thank you very much. Uh, I thought Exceed come up with a great idea that we're hopefully going to implement over the weekend, but until then... Delicious. Silver Bullet, I was thinking about you, 
just now when we went live. What's happening with this games night, honey? And I was, say, I was saying to Exceed, I was like, she's so sweet. She just messages me just to chat sometimes. And I haven't even talked to her in a week. She's forgotten about me. Liz, thank you for it. Thank you for the hype train, guys. Delicious. 14 months. Dang. Oh, it's like you guys have this radar. When I'm feeling under the weather or like feeling a bit bleh, it's like you guys turn it on. Like Molly, beep, 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 beep. Molly's a bit flat today. Beep, 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 beep. Let's just make it, you know, beep, 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 beep. let's just make the, the, the hype in the chat and everything. Oh. I said to exceed this morning, I feel a bit fluey, which is not something that I want to feel. Okay. Ali, can you see that? Everyone's gonna freak out because they're gonna be like, oh my God, don't write on your things. 11 months. It's completely fine, that's why we bought these cupboards. Silver bullet. Four months. And then Liz. Liz in the OC. 14 months. Okay. So busy when Stacey's home, maybe this weekend. It's okay. um, no stress, no stress at all. All good. Um, thank you, Liz, Silver Bullet, Ali Sunson. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you very much. We well, got feeling a little sore throat. Went and gargled salt water. She'll be right. That's it. We appreciate you. Thank you. Oh, God, my nose is like itchy. Ugh. Can you guys read that? Does it look terrible? I don't know. I'm not on. I don't know. That's why we used to have the cookie arts because it was a bit neater and better. Allergies. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't really have allergies for like pollen and stuff. I'm very lucky like that. But I think it's the, the lights. I have the, the fan on, the air conditioner, and then the lights make one just itchy. Um, we really do, uh, really do Molly. You've been holding down the Molly Fort every week. Uh, okay, so we're going to do a deep dive into Discord, show you what the community has been cooking and eating, um, and then we're going to get into... Should we do the ice cream thing first before the cake, the fruit roll-up thing? Does anyone know what I'm talking about with the fruit roll-up thing? I, can't, I wish Exceed was here and he could do it with me, but I'll have to get him to do one over Easter next weekend. This, like, next week is Easter, and hopefully he can come on the Friday and the Monday stream. That would be cool. Um, I do not, but I also don't have social media. Doesn't sound like a first thing in the morning activity. Maybe I need a bit of a boost though. Vex, welcome back. Morning stars. Okay, so show me what you've been cooking and eating. Um, silver bullet, I want photos of your, um, your meals, your meal prep in the future. I'm just so demanding. Um, Taryn, pork ramen with an over easy egg. <sighs> then do it then. Time is a social construct. It's true. All right. My mouse is working, but the scroll wheel isn't. Okay. We'll just do it the old school way. The click and drag down. <gasps> I made these, guys. This is not going to need to be recipe tested, but they're pretty delicious, if I do say so myself. These are like bakery-style muffins, kind of like one recipe to uh, one muffin recipe to rule them all, but kind of a little bit different. Um, 
for the website, because obviously I need to do it different for the um, website and first things first. Um, I made chocolate chip and then I did lemon poppy and coconut pineapple because I used the leftover pineapple from Monday stream. Uh, and then with the other, t the, like the pineapple and coconut, the lemon poppy, I put like a glaze on top. They turn out really good. So uh, this weekend, um, we're going to finalise the, the Molly Test Kitchen stuff. So for those that want to be a part of the recipe testing team, um, stay tuned. Sausages, salad, onion rings for dinner. Hey, I haven't had a snag for a long time. Looks good. Any dressing, Grumpy? Thank you for sharing. Hey, beware. Welcome in. How you been? How's work been? Love fruit roll-ups. They're so sweet though. I honestly, fruit roll-ups, like I could like leave them forever, but I'm gonna show you something today that I saw on a video. It's probably like months old, but it's an ice cream sandwich with a roll-up. Um, fish pie, care of Marley Spoon. Something new for me, fish and veg in a white sauce encased in filo pastry. You know, I've been watching um, YouTubers called Sorted Food. They're a bunch of um, um, pom, like uh, English boys. And they talk about fish pie all the time. I think it must be a British thing. It's something that I've never had either. I, and I'm, I don't think I'd be a big fan on it. Looks good though. You could easily do chicken, right? Instead of just swap out the fish for chicken. Nice. Would you have it again? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Frying eggs in chili oil, my favorite way to have them at the moment. What type of chili oil? Oh, look at that. Interesting. Nice. All right, how the heck do I get out of this full screen? There we go. Ooh, so with fried chili oil eggs on toast with avocado. Damn. That looks delicious. I think, I, like I've never cooked them in chili oil, but my favorite thing is like ch smashed avo with a poached egg and then chili oil on top. I think that's delicious. So this would be good too. If you wanted chili oil, anyone else, there's a uh, Szechuan chili oil on my website and it is banger. It lasts forever, it lasts, it lasts a long time. It's really good. Um, Work is still insane, but I'm smaller, more manageable doses. Uh, put my name in for my own store. What, what does that mean? What is that, your own store? Like to manage your own store? Or what does, hey, Cad, what's crack a -lacking? Uh Grumpy Gamer asked if there was an alternative to red pepper flakes in Australia, and I just said I use mild chili flakes. So. Um, they may be different, but that's what I use. The main difference between the two um, is the difference between a red pepper flakes and chili flakes is that the red pepper flakes are made up of a variety of peppers, while chili flakes are made up of just chili. The spice level of each differs as well, and the taste uh, and the taste that either gives to a dish, whatever that means. Uh, if you've been around here for a while, you know that my, you know how we all have that childhood dish that like disgusts you thinking back of it and like you would never eat it again. For me, it's tuna mornay. And yesterday I just had this feeling. I wanted like, I felt like tuna and I don't often feel like tuna. Usually I eat tuna and rice with chili oil on top, but I was like, oh my, maybe I'll just make some pasta. So I made a mac and cheese for Exceed, and then I used my portion and I put tuna in it. And it wasn't too bad. I won't, I won't probably go for it again, but I think the best thing is good quality tuna. My mum, when I was a kid, used like 50 cent a tin tuna, like real cheap tuna, and she never seasoned anything. So this is, obviously I couldn't turn the tin upside down because it was open. Um, but this is Serena Tuna. Just at the gym, I'll message you later. Have fun, take care, brush your hair. 
My mum used to make tuna casserole every week growing up. I never want to see it again. Yeah, that's how I felt. But I bit the bullet and tried it. Probably won't try it again, but yeah, I did it. Um, Duke, welcome in. Uh, there's a bakery that sells tuna mornay pies, same size as meat pie. Oh, God, they're amazing. Interesting. Okay. When I was a kid, we didn't have much money and would add a can of tuna or cut up hot dogs to mac and cheese. I do agree the quality of tuna. Yeah, my as, my, as well. Like, we grew up on a farm and so you had to stretch your budget as far as possible and... My parents, when we, we went around Australia, like we travelled in like a little kind of um, camper van. Uh, like an, like a, a, it was basically a bus that they, they took out all the seats and stuff and made it into a house. Um, and we didn't have a lot of money. And so my mum still has that kind of mentality. She still buys shit ingredients, even though she's a bit more well off now. Um, but one of the things that we always had was like, really crappy tuna and just it's really I'm I'm watching a video at the moment on canned food and the quality of like the difference of it you know you can get really great quality sardines and tuna and and meats that are canned that taste really good or you can get the crappy ones And, and I also think that having them in oil like this is Italian style tuna in oil rather than spring water makes a difference as well Obviously, it's not as, like, fresh and healthy, you know, spring water is probably the healthiest choice, but oil adds more flavour to the the, um, fattier tuna. So it's good. Serena tuna is good because they are a little bit more responsive with catching. They Yeah, it's um, all pole. Yeah, line line and pole kelp. No dolphins are harmed. Um, Yeah, Trader Joe's has canned smoked salmon and it's delicious but good quality versus can. And also when you open the can, like it's in fillets, like it's in pieces rather than like flakes. I think that's a big um, show of quality as well. Uh, it's hard to shake that thrifty mindset once you, you've you needed it to live like that. Oh, yeah. It's, sometimes it's frustrating. We, like my mum got it from my grandma and sometimes it's, you know, I pick up on those vibes as well. Uh, it's really hard, like... There's difference between being thrifty and stingy sometimes. Uh, but that's how, you know, uh, sometimes people who who have grown, you know, have got better and, and they, they focus on where their money is going, do well in their future be- because of that. You know, they're not spending things and they're, not, they're you know, they're, they're pe- penny pinches and it's got them to where they are. Um, when my... Friend's parents used to take me to the footy. Her mum would make tuna casserole with rice, tuna, tin pineapple, and a can of cream and chicken soup. Then bake it in the oven with crushed chips on. Oh my god! Wow. Still a favourite for everyone to this day. So you're still friends with that family member? Wow. That didn't come out wrong. You're still friends with that friend, and you see her mum. That's pretty cool. I love that. Frugality is good. Refusing to spend money on anything, and yes, I agree with that, Cad. Or complaining that you're poor, that that people, I think that's frustrating. And, uh, you know, sometimes I might be like that, or, you know, we, or sometimes, you know, you can dislike something and do it yourself sometimes. Um, and, but yeah, it, it is being, you know, it's frustrating. Anyway, um, roll-ups. These are Australian roll-ups, Uncle Toby's. Pretty sure that's a brand you guys have in North America, right, Uncle Toby's? Um, These are roll-ups, rainbow fruit salad. I'm not sure if they're just different colours or they taste different, but... You don't have Uncle Toby's? What? What? Not in Canada? Canada, sorry, Canada. Cav, is Cav Canada? Is that a typo? Yeah, cool. Not to my knowledge. Damn, crazy. I thought Uncle Toby's... Okay, who makes your... Okay, Australians. What does... Okay, what... But everyone shares everything. It's just probably a an Australian brand 
from a larger American conglomerate, let's be honest. It's all probably owned by Unilever. Nestle. Nestle, okay. So, who makes... Betty Crocker? No. Betty Crocker in Australia makes cake. That's all Betty. Betty is only... She's segregated... Like, she's put in the cake section. No, Betty, Betty doesn't make anything else. Cake mixes and icings. That's it. Our Betty does it all. <gasps> Besh fish tacos in San Diego. Oh, yeah, I love the fish tacos down there. Yes, Maximus, I agree. How do you like your fish tacos? I don't know. I don't get them. Yeah, neither. The, the cool kids at school had these in their lunchboxes. We never, like, we didn't. My mum gave me Uncle Toby's twists. They were like um, K-Town K twists, maybe? They, um, they were like breaded stuff filled with, like, berries like a, a puree and then they twisted and baked they're called an uncle toby's twist nestle australia has agreed to acquire the uncle toby's business in australia um, as well as the rights to the brand in new zealand for 890 million cash yeah of course of course they did betty only makes packet cake Mixes, okay, as I was reading that, you, like Margot must have written and it went up. So I was about to read out loud, Betty only makes packet cake tacos on the beach with beer batter. And I was like, in my head, that didn't make sense. Mm. Yeah, um, packet cakes in Australia. Betty. Um, I like to catch fresh whiting. <sighs> I like whiting. Um, I grew up with my granddad catching whiting and that was probably my, my favourite fish other than jewfish. They were, you know, when we were kids, we always used to go fishing for snapper and whiting, but whiting was most common. Get that, take it home, and my granddad used to make us fish and chips. It was the best. Uh, I once traded an apple for a fruit roller. Oh, my God! Because I had a tooth I wanted to pull out. Okay, that's... Yeah, okay. And I, I probably the kid that gave it to you wanted to see the tooth, like... And then they were like, I helped pull that out. Never heard of Aunt Jemima. Aunt Jemima, she makes, she, she's not good anymore. Um, she makes, um, uh, I think she's been renamed. Aunt Jemima used to make syrup. But she, she got told off. And now it's just aunts or something. What, who makes the syrup now? It's been rebranded. The production facility in Utah is in for Uncle Toby's, okay. Now, nah, see, I'm so used to seeing abbreviations and thinking American states now. UT, Utah? Um, Waganya, Waganya. Waganya, it's an uh, indigenous Aboriginal word. Um, Waganya, okay. No idea where that is. I used to live in Victoria and I don't know where that is. Pearl Milling Company. Pearl Milling Company is General Mills, isn't it? Nah? Oh, no. Okay, now I'm confused. Aunt Jemima is now Pearl Milling Company. Okay. Yeah, she was cancelled. I couldn't tell you what brand replaced her. Okay. Let's continue. Or I'm just going to start talking about random syrups and brands. Um, this is amazing. First time making... This is with Real HMC Haley, the legend. First time making birria tacos from Olin together. My God. They, these are on fire, super tasty, really easy to make. We serve them with guacamole and sour cream and that really helped tone down the heat for me. She loved them. The family loved them. West Albury Wodonga, oh, on the border. Okay, thank you, Margot. These look fantastic, guys, if you haven't tasted the Arbiria tacos from firstly, um, all in together, amazing, really, really good. If I do say so myself, we are making um, Caribbean beef from all in together next week. We're making that into empanadas. Pretty excited for that. This is what we're doing today. It's ice cream uh, fruit roll ups. So basically, you get the roll up, lay it out, put a scoop of ice cream, then wrap it up. The ice cream solidifies the sugar and they're supposed to be really crunchy and delicious. So we're gonna try it out.
what, you know, we have cocktails before 10, so why not have sugar before 9 a.m.? Another recipe from All In Together, Rice Rice Baby. And this is from Grumpy Gamer. The review, which I loved, was Jeff, which is her son, just had rice for dinner, and I can understand why, so tasty. Rice Rice Baby is the easiest. So much so, I, I make it like once a week. I made it last night to then have in the tacos today. So good. Well, no, I, I made it yesterday because I was gonna have uh, rice and tuna. Then I decided on pasta. Then I left it in, the, in um, the pressure cooker and now we're having it today. That's the turn of events. My brain, out of sight, out of mind, a little bit ADHD, um, left it in the pressure cooker, forgot about it until this morning. So it'll be fine. Uh, little man, this is from Green Eyes. Little man had a rough day at school. Um, favorite meal from first things first to cheer him up. I'm not actually sure what the meal is. I'm pretty sure it's carbonara. And then she added some Dairy Queen chicken. I think this is carbonara. Thank you for sharing uh, Green Eyes. Ali Sun Sun, simple eggs on toast with fried leek, white wine, lemon, cumin, and mushrooms. Look at this. Be right back dinner, no worries. Looks good, Al. Nice plate. Yeah. Great work. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Let's get into this fruit roll-up thing. Okay, I want you to get in your thoughts, feelings, opinions now. Do you think this will be any good? Have you tried it? Do you know what I'm, I'm going to think? You know, I'm going to, um, roll-ups are not as big as they used to be. I feel like they're really small now. I'm going to roll it out and I'm going to be disappointed. They always change the size of things. I don't even know. It just smells disgustingly sweet. It says on the back, I, I read this out to Exceed before stream started, and I said, know your portions, one roll per serve. And Exceed yelled out from his office, who goes, who's eating more than one roll up at a time? I have to soon go to, I have ballet, oh my goodness. All right, well, I'll hurry up. It's sugar with more sugar and some dairy. Is it got dairy in it? No. Multidextrin, corn, concentrated fruit puree, 21%. I'm impressed with that. Um, sugar, soluble corn fiber, modified starch, Fruit juice concentrate, um, more juice, interesting. Uh, emulsifier, food acid, um, natural flavor, vegetable concentrate, spirulina. This must be get the green color. Vegetable gums, contain soy, but no dairy. What kind of ice cream? Vanilla. All right, I'm having a few issues here. Shrinkflation, that's it. Okay. Mine looks so much smaller than theirs, the ones I've seen on the video. I'm not gonna be able to fit like a fucking tiny bit of ice cream in there. Okay. So, fruit roll-ups. And we need ice cream. Vanilla ice cream. We've got some... Creamy Classics, Bulla. All right, ready? I wanna kind of like scoop it in and put it into like a, a round shape or something, okay. Like that, and they folded. Okay, so they folded theirs like into like a, a shape. Okay, ready? Like that. Mine's way smaller than everyone else's I saw. There we go. And so you just wanna kinda of let it like set. Do a second for a I can't increase my portions. It told me one portion per serve. Right. I feel like if it, 
if it's okay, we should make Geekseed one. Okay. Do my ASMR. Oh! Oh my god. This side here hasn't got cold. Hmm, it hasn't really got as cold as what it was made out to be. Like, there's when they bit into it, it was like it was like solid. But let's try. You ready? Nah, it's still soft. Put it in the freezer. Uh -uh. It was good though, but maybe my ice cream is different. Mmm. Tastes really good though. Oh. Mmm. That bit was better. Mouse. Mmm. Fruity. It wasn't what I was expecting. All the videos made it out like it was a crackly crust and you bit into it. But this is like... Not very good. I think we make another one. Put it in the freezer for a while. Mmm. Bit messy. Hey, Ali's mum. Um, yeah. It's actually, that's pretty good. It's like fruity and creamy. Sticky. I would go and wash my hands, but I haven't told anyone this. Yesterday we were in our offices, we heard this bang and went into the kitchen, ran into the, ran into the kitchen. I was like, what's that noise? Didn't know what the issue was. Our kitchen sink has fallen out of the stone. What the fuck? And we've only had it for a year and a half and the undermount sink has come out from under the stone and just fallen down. So it's being held up by the pipe now. And I contacted the stonemason. He was like, oh, they're only covered for a year. And I was like, hmm, okay, that's a bit unfortunate. And then he quoted $380 to come fix it, which we're not going to be doing. But so now we've got a sink here. Oh, we can't really do anything. I can wash my hands. Cause it like, but not put any weight in it. To troubleshoot the messiness, decided to roll the ice cream in the fruit rub. Roll the ice cream into the fruit, like just roll it up. Interesting. So that's frustrating. Let me see if I can clean this up, hold on. Time to find a stonemason streamer. Mm. All right. The size of our kitchen, we paid quite a bit for our stone. I was like, 
he said the, the sinks are covered for a year. Their warranty is a year. And there's no clips or anything. So they were, it, like, it looks like they were just siliconed in. There was no, like, glue or any, I don't understand. There's no, like, the sinks are this big, right? You'd think that they would have a clip or a bracket or something. So I'm going to be investigating that today. Um, and we need to get it fixed. Because, but it's like one of those things that you don't want to do yourself just in case you fuck it up or like very bizarre that I'm like, I don't really, it's kind of like, I don't want to get too stressed about it right now. So I'm going to put it in the later bucket. All right. So let's make another one of these, um, for later. Cause I've, I've, um, eaten my portion for the day. Okay, yeah, I think a thin layer of ice cream on the roll-up, then rolling it like a cinnamon roll. Okay, all right. Okay. Not very fun to roll. So you roll it like a cigar. Like a roll-up, like a cinnamon roll. Breathe your last welcome in. I YouTube a lot of stuff, uh, at home stuff. I learned how to change my car air filters in minutes and save a hundred bucks. That's amazing. I do the same. I'm quite handy and Exceed and I, usually we get in and do stuff like ourselves. Okay. So, the hive mind. Yes, Prometra, welcome in. Glad you're one of the only ones that know it in chat. I'm teaching everyone for the first time. This is our second one. We're gonna try something new. So, we're gonna go here and then roll it up like that. Focus on me, there we go. Your fingers in there. I feel like we need more, a bit more ice cream. I feel like I'm making sausage rolls. All right, and then we're gonna go. Like that, you think. You're no good alone. <laughs> what do you mean yours have a different texture? Is that why mine didn't turn out like yours? Everyone else is on. How is yours a different texture? Ours are just candy too. Don't, yeah, don't get it twisted. Ours are just candy too. It's like sugary candy that they put in kids' hands and they say they've got fruit. Yeah, it's still kind of soft. No, all right, back in the freezer. Okay. It is carrot cake time. Um, how many of you like carrot cake? How do you like it? We are recipe approving today. So usually we do recipe testing on stream, but this recipe is old, 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 old. Like this is been made like a million times. So I'm pretty sure it's good for the website, but we're just gonna see if it's approved. Carrot cake. How do you like your carrot cake? Do you like it soft? Do you like it cream cheesy? Here, the ingredients you will need for Molly's Caribbean carrot cake. So it's spiced. And when I say it's spiced, it has cinnamon, ginger, allspice, nutmeg, cardamom, cloves, and a bit of black pepper. It is delicious. Um, 
And then to keep it moist, we've got pineapple in there, Caribbean. Um, we've got coconut, uh, carrot, obviously. It is phenomenal and walnuts. Oh, I was thinking spiced rum. We could do like a spiced rum cream cheese. Yeah, so it's like Caribbean style spiced rum flavors. You gotta think of like, this is Johnny Depp's Captain Jack's cake. Like this is what he has at his birthday. You lost me at coconut. You can leave the coconut out if you want, but why? You don't like coconut? Um, pecans and walnuts is my preferred carrot cake. Yes, cream cheese frosting, I like that, thank you. So the things we will need are two and a half, two cups of all-purpose plain flour, um, two teaspoons of baking soda, um, salt, spices, three eggs, sugar, vegetable oil, milk, lemon juice, carrot, pineapple, coconut, everything in the pantry. So let me just see if I can take you in there. I think that's okay today. Yeah, it's pretty clean. Okay. Everyone laughs at me for these, but these are good Macca's trays. Esque, Macca's esque. Um, flour, I'm gonna use, I think, oh no, I think that's bread flour. I have a little baggie here. I did a in-person cooking class. Um, sometimes I do some consulting and do like events for people. So I did some um, cooking class on the weekend and this was a, we didn't end up getting to the naan. So um, I think that's, oh, whatever it is. I think it's bread flour, but it's gone in the bread flour bin now. Um, plain flour there, sugar here. I'm thinking it, it's white sugar, but I'm thinking maybe we make it brown sugar. I'm not sure. Um, I like spiced light cream cheese, cream cheese frosting. Once had a carrot cake with a ton of frosting. Almost never wanted to go back to carrot cake again. See, that's interesting. Creature of the cosmos. So if you talk to Margot, one of our community members, she thinks carrot cake should be a vessel for the cream cheese. She's a big believer in that cream cheese should be heavy and thick. So, you know, it's each to their own, everybody. And that's what is great, that people can have it different ways. Um, we're going to need the icing sugar later. Um, baking soda. So I'm using baking soda today. <gasps> Just baking soda. Do you know why? Instead of baking powder. Who knows? I might get baking powder just in case. Uh, shredded coconut. Mm, he must have left it out there. Tin pineapples out there. Let's look at that list. Margot. Uh, LMAO, call that. I know, but I love that you love, like, I love that you love cream cheese frosting that much. And because I'm a believer, like, cupcakes or cakes should have, like, a good amount of frosting on them. Acid in the pineapple, yes. And lemon juice, like, to make, like, a buttermilk where the acid will react with the baking soda to get fluff. Perfect. Great one. Um... We have something in the US called spice cake that is essentially carrot cake without the carrot. Same cream cheese frost icing and the same spices. Interesting, I've never heard of that. Um, I heard of a very similar, instead of adding the carrot and put it with banana and make it like a hummingbird cake. Um, I've had some crazy foods but never tried carrot cake. I need to fix that soon, you do. Okay. Vegetable oil here. We're going to also use that because we're going to fry our fish. 
We're not going to fry our fish and then make a cake. Don't worry. Um, carrot, milk out there, sugar, eggs. Tres ovos. Three. Perfect. Um, okay. Flour. Baking soda. Bum, 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 bum. Spices, eggs, sugar, vegetable oil, milk is out there. Lemon juice is out there. Vanilla is out there. Carrots out there. Crushed pineapples out there. Coconut and walnuts. My silly brother doesn't like nuts in brownies and cake. He's so wrong. Like, I didn't know you could be that wrong. But nuts are always a good time. Um, powdered sugar. Yep, fabulous. Oh, this is a bit heavy for me. Oh. oh, damn it. Personally, I think it can be too strong in flavor and it just ruins the cake itself. I agree with that. Or like if it's just too, too thick. I think that's one of the things that people do wrong when their stuff is too thick. The frosting is too thick or too sweet. Too sweet. I think what works really great about... <sighs> so past the camera is Chester. And now, now he's, I've said his name, so now he's come to me. But he was put like s scrubbing his face on the kitchen couch. And then he sat down and he just looked at me and he was like, he was like watching the stream and it was super cute. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. This is my big guy. We don't make my big guy. You're looking a bit like um, the grouch at the moment, a bit fluffy. I lean towards agreeing with your brother on that one. <gasps> no way, you gotta have nuts. Nuts about nuts. Nuts are amazing. How many of you agree with Margot? Margot the terrible. I'm kidding. Um, I like smooth. Oh yeah, you've told we've had this discussion about smooth texture and not much chewing required. I love crunchy chew, like chewy stuff. So eggs. Uh, I'm going to measure this out correctly and everything do mise en place so we can make it and um, so that I can cut the video so that we're going to be really professional. Okay, I'm going to cut the video and then put that on the website. Okay, so we'll have everything planned and organized and like make a little video, maybe. No one can make me laugh. <laughs> okay. Ali, are you still there? Ali Sanson. <gasps> I like nuts in carrot cake, but in a lot of other things I can take it or leave it, okay? Depending on my mood, but I do tend to also lean towards smoother cakes. <gasps> I was just gonna show your mum your beautiful plates. Very, very lucky. This is, Ali made this. So we're gonna use that for the spices. Um, okay, two cups of plain flour. I need to measure this. The, uh, the only thing is I need to just make sure that the measurements are correct. Okay, grims. Two cups. I like that, so. A spoon. Uh, measuring spoons this way. Okay. What was the last cake that you had? Cake or slice or bars? Like cakey, yeah, like a slice, like a sheet cake or a cake in general. What was it? I showed mum she's such a techno noob. What was the last cake you had? I think a muffin is probably not included. Cake. 
Oh dear. It's the last cake I made on stream. Hundred and fifty grams. Three hundred and six just over. Three hundred grams of plain flour. Um, Mum's last cake she had was carrot cake. No way. Interesting. Did it have nuts in it? I still have some left. I'll snap a pic. My mum made me a lemon bunt cake for my birthday last week. <gasps> how was your birthday? How did it turn out? And how good is your gift of a KitchenAid? I'm very excited for you. What a magnificent gift. As someone who was also gifted a KitchenAid, mine was for Christmas. It's a lovely gift. It's a gift that keeps on giving, Exceed says. Because then if Jay can't think of another gift for you, it just like... You just get you a um, an attachment. That's what Exceed does. White chocolate cake today, Mrs. Syntax. Like a mud cake. <sighs> Tell me about your last cakes. Last cake you ate. I've been getting into pas uh, pastries lately, like Portuguese tarts and Danishes. Margot, would you like to learn how to make a um, uh, Portuguese custard tart yourself? How do you feel about that? Had a chocolate cake with chocolate frosting yesterday for my birthday, Orion. Happy birthday. And did you have sprinkles on the chocolate cake with the chocolate sprinkle frosting? Mum cake had walnuts. Fabulous. Um, I'm so excited about it. Planning on breaking it in tomorrow with the sourdough. Fabulous. Uh, we are doing how much sugar? One and a half cups. The printer on this is pretty crappy. Um, where did I just say that? 150 grams, one and a half cups. I think that's wrong. Sugar. We need a big, I love this song. Yeah, I knew that was wrong. So it says 150 grams or one and a half cups of sugar. So I've got two cups of flour, so one and a half cups of sugar. We'll do it. But if this is wrong, then we're screwed. And then I'm gonna have to 325 grams. Um, then I'm going to have to retest on the weekend. Is it someone's birthday? I'm gonna, hopefully I can take it to someone's house. Um, I'm not going to put it in yet. I'm going to do some research to see if I have an older variation of this recipe to see how much it was. Because... Um, Sometimes I merge recipes in, like I rewrite them and then I have an older version to see if I've tested it or whatever. But this is the reason why I test things, old recipes, and not just put them on the website willy-nilly because I need to make sure that they work and they're good and they're not, I don't like the term foolproof. Nothing is ever going to be foolproof. I make a recipe that I've made a million times and it sometimes doesn't work out the way it should. Um, recipes shouldn't be foolproof and they should not say foolproof um, because I feel like you're setting your community or like people up to fail. If something does go wrong, then they feel like they're a failure because the recipe is foolproof. Um, but you, that's the reason why you test and you can say easy and you can give troubleshooting stuff just in case shit happens. But if you're really 100% like, like people, I suppose you, you can put foolproof on there. 
but it has to be fucking perfect. And yeah. You know what I mean? If you saw a recipe that was called foolproof and it didn't work, you would feel like crap. When in reality, nothing ever works out perfectly all the time. Um, vanilla frosting inside and white chocolate on the outside. Store-bought birthday, the 30th. Of, your birthday's on the 30th, but of course I had a pre-taste what I bought. I like it. See you, Ali. Hope you have a great day. Um, two teaspoons of baking soda. Here. The chucks on the Saint Laurent. So pretty. Okay. I have an introduction at a school to see if I want to do an interpreter job. Oh, at a school? That's really cool. Wait and see, I'm not a big fan of kids, but I love the contract. That's exciting. Amazing. Um, Belgor is doing a course at the moment where he's becoming like a carer. So he's taking people out to in like into social events and things like that. And I was been thinking of you. Because at Crabfest we were um, we were watching an interpreter. Um, so for those that don't know, Ali is so amazing. She has um, she is doing her interpreter course uh, for Auslan, so um, sign language, Australian sign language. Because, you know, I found out they're not all the same. Different, sign, different countries have different types of sign language. And, um, yeah, it's really great. Very excited for you, Ali. Good job. Uh, okay, two teaspoons. Ten grams. 30 of the third. I like that. Okay. All right, now we're doing our, all of our spices and stuff. So I'm just gonna put them on to the, a plate so that they're all spread out. We've got cinnamon. Uh, we're gonna do ground cloves, nutmeg, ginger, of course, um, all spice, Caribbean spices. Um, so, your allspice, your ginger, your cinnamon, um, what else? You know, they're very, uh, in your Caribbean kind of location. Um, hey Google, what defines the Caribbean? For those, I don't have any star On in the his website, powder. That would be good. The Caribbean is a region that consists of the Caribbean Sea, its islands and the surrounding coasts. I also hey, got an answer to this question. What is considered Caribbean? Yes. Do you want to hear it? Yes. On the website nationsonline.org, they say, the Caribbean is home to 13 sovereign island nations, Antigua and Barbuda, Bahamas, Barbados, Cuba, Dominica, Dominican Republic, Grenada, Haiti, Jamaica, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah. Um, my, you just reminded me, my granddad, who passed away before I was born, his, bo his birthday is the 30th of the 3rd. My dad is April Fool's Day, and my cousin is the 2nd of April. I should have been born on April Fool's, but I said, nope. I love that. Yes, yeah, so my dad's birthday is this weekend. However, he doesn't want to do anything. He's at the farm. So he will see him in about a week or two. Okay. Ginger is one, one and a half teaspoons of ginger. I'm gonna go with one. Is Puerto Rico, is that counted in the Caribbean? No way. I thought Puerto Rico was part of South America, Central America. Really? Roselli, so you're a Caribbean, Caribbean princess. 
gingerbre, um, allspice, half a teaspoon of allspice. Really, we are between Dominican Republic and the Virgin Islands. Oh, wow, the more you know. Wow. So, what do you think of the spices that I'm using? Cinnamon, ginger, allspice, nutmeg, cardamom, clove. I haven't done allspice yet. Half a teaspoon of allspice. I'm excited to make this cake. Um, most of my family is all May, my niece and my granddad on the same day even. And for some reason, most people I meet are May people too. I'm a May girl, a May bay. Half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Anything else I should add to it, you think? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Clove. Here. Allspice. Nutmeg. Cardamom. I thought a bit of black pepper, just a little bit. An eighth of a teaspoon. Cool, fabulous. So there are spices. That's why it's called Caribbean spice because it's bloody spiced. Look at that. Pepper, uh, cardamom, ginger, cinnamon, allspice and nutmeg. What about cloves? Hold on, hold on, I missed one. I miss one. I don't think I put clove. Fourth, yeah, here we go. More spice. I love the color, like all the brown. Fabulous, look at that. Spices. Mm. Delish. Okay, flour, sugar, spices, baking powder, baking soda, sorry. Um, three eggs, tres ovos. Then we want 160 grams or th three quarters of a cup of vegetable oil. Uh, we want to preheat our oven to 160 degrees Celsius, 325 Fahrenheit on, um, make sure it's not fan forced, okay? Because the cake is going to be, it's going to be really moist, so we want to cook it slower. Some cakes, it's all good to go on fan forced or convection because it, it will um, make the cake cook quicker. However, with the cake, a denser cake especially, you want to cook it slower so that it gets more rise and it cooks more evenly. Okay. All right. Three quarters of a cup of oil. Uh, we're doing an oil-based cake today. So basically it's just a, like you mix everything all together in like one bowl. Dry ingredient, or like I do my wet and dry ingredients in two bowls, mix them together. The oil, rather than butter, we're not creaming butter and sugar and things like that. The oil is gonna create a really nice moist cake. Then the pineapple is gonna add moisture as well. The carrot's gonna add moisture. And it's really a little bit more dense. It's still kind of fluffy, but it's, it's very luxurious. All right. Three quarters of a cup. What kind of oil do you use? Um, this is rice bran oil, or you can use canola oil. You want a neutral flavoured oil. Okay. 
165 grams. I'm going to keep that out because we're going to fry it in this oil as well. All right. Yep, that's right. Uh, milk. We want 190 mils. We're going to make like a buttermilk substitute. So if you've been around here, you'll know that I don't do buttermilk. I think the cost of it's not worth it. But I'm going to... I'm going to... Uh, what am I going to say? I'm going to... Um, I'm going to start using some. I'm going to buy some because there's something, some things that I want to make with specific buttermilk, um, like a... Uh, I want to make like a ranch sauce, like a, a condiment. And I also want to do... Remember how we do um, like... To sit, you know, like we did the butter, the butter, comp, like not a competition, but like the butter off where we tried the different types of butter. I really wanted to see if buttermilk makes a difference in buttermilk pancakes or buttermilk fried chicken, things like that, or if it's not worth it. Because I've always said to myself that it's not worth it and validated myself, but maybe I'm wrong and I, I like to be proved wrong. You know, with butter, you know, definitely the, buy the best butter you can afford. Um, you know, not, you don't have to go overboard, but buying a good quality butter like a Western Star or, you know, you don't have to use Lopac all the time. You, if you can afford it, do it. But um, buying a good quality European or grass-fed butter, lightly salted, is going to give you better results than a store-bought generic brand one. High fat content as well. All right. So oil. Okay. So here we want same amount of milk. Hundred and ninety. Okay. Radioactive. That aside. And we want some lemon juice. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this now so that it has time to do its thing. So we want How much did I say? One teaspoon? One and a half teaspoons of lemon juice. I don't really... I should do it properly. One. So the lemon juice is going to uh, coagulate and kind of create curds. It's going to add a tangy flavour to the, the, the milk. That's what we want. It's kind of like one of those things that you think, oh, like we've always been taught that you don't want to create curdles and milk shouldn't come in contact with acid and things like this. This is the time we do because it's going to thicken it. It's going to be good. You want to let it sit for a few minutes. And you don't want the seeds in there. So if you can get them out, get them out. Ow. There's a seed in there. I know there's a seed in there. Can someone remind me to get the seed out later? Strain it or whatever. Cake time! Um... Stamp, stamp, stamp your fingers for me. Vanilla bean paste. Okay, we need crushed pineapple, doll. So these are just pineapple slices in juice. It's a 227 gram tin. 
So we want that. Um, and you want to drain the juice off. So maybe we'll make a beverage out of it. To be your eyes. So we want to drain it really well because we want to control the amount of liquid in there. Like, so if you leave that, put that liquid in there, it's going to make the cake too moist. Pina colada time. What was the last time? Did we make, have we ever made a pina colada on stream? It would definitely be on theme for today. Very like tropical. We're making fish tacos later. Caribbean carrot cake. Pina colada. I also did buy. Um, the groceries got delivered yesterday. I bought grapefruit juice because we were talking about making. Um, uh, what are they called? Palomas. What has this become? A cocktail stream? You've done mugs a few times. Just a few times. Uh, all right, carrot. We don't peel around here, mainly because we can't be bothered or we don't have a peeler. It's not necessary. Just wash your carrots. Um, we need two cups of, two cups of carrots, okay? Desperate for attention, I aim to be you. Um, Grumpy, when, what was the last cake that you had? We're talking about cake. And I want to know... Okay, let's do, let's do it like a um, V versus... Like v, v versus V? Or like... Um, a versus game. Would you rather, guys, would you rather a cheesecake or a mud cake? A cheesecake or a mud cake? Cheesecake or mud cake? It's really hard because for me it depends. Like I love it. I I love cheesecake. A boiled chocolate cake. Mm, like a pudding? It would be a mud cake for you, okay? Caramel mud cake is a way to my heart. Like, oh. Caramel mud cake with drizzled cream, like fresh cream on top. That is sensational. Like a cheesecake factory, uh, cheesecake, not cheesecake. Now I've got cheesecake on my mind. Um, a cheesecake shop. Uh, cheesecake shop. Caramel mud cake, so good. It's an old recipe my nan uses for her chocolate cakes. Interesting. So, that's one carrot, and that is 140 grams. So what have I written here? 250 to 260. Okay, close. I'm going to go with this carrot instead. Did your nan make the boiled cake for you? For your birthday? Or did you make it yourself? And everybody else, mods, can we do a poll maybe? Carrot cake, no, cheesecake versus mud cake. Your mum did, nice. Oh. I prefer this type of grating than a mandolin. Mandolin makes like really harsh, cuts, whereas this is like a thinner and softer. 
Um, if you've ever used a mandolin, like the, um, it's just a lot more solid slices. Hold up. Do you prefer? Brazil, you're gonna have to tell me the answers because I can't open the poll. My button's not working. That's okay. Tell me later. I, oh, I'd probably say I prefer mud cake for me. I do really love cheesecake, but I prefer mud cake more. There you go, 240, so 250 grams. 252, that's good. Never had mud cake, so I picked cheesecake. Oh, <gasps> you've never had mud cake. Oh my God, I feel like I, all these things that you guys tell me you've never had before, and I just feel like this wicked witch, and like, let me pop your cherry. Okay. Roselli, if I give you a mud cake recipe, would you make it? And Easy's never had carrot cake, so Easy, you're gonna try this. Okay, last but not least, we need to do the walnuts. One cup of walnuts. Oh, my cups are too big. Of course, I would make anything you ask me. Oh, hmm, you can say that. Okay. Oh, and coconut. We haven't done coconut. How many says any carrot cake? This recipe is going on the website on Monday, hopefully. If all goes well today. And then you have to make it. Um, one cup. Okay. Hundred grams? What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? I haven't measured. Okay. Hundred. Let's go with that. Hundred. Hot cross buns and carrot cake for Easter. You got it, girlfriend. I made the hot cross buns yesterday again. I got a special request from Exceed. And my husband, you know Exceed, he tells it how it is. Six, 55% of you guys like cheesecake more than mud cake. Interesting. Um, my husband, I love him for this reason. He tells me how it is. He doesn't sugarcoat things for my feelings and I love that. I love people who are straight talkers. Um, and he's always said that he thinks that my hot cross buns aren't as good as store-bought. But guys, I've done it. He's actually, he, two days ago, he was like, oh, can, can I order some hot cross buns? He's like, I really feel like them. I was like, fuck yeah. I just now need to um, do better pizza and do better fruit mince pies. Because I don't eat fruit mince pies, so I never really know how to make them good. Um, I don't know if... Too much coconut. But you know how when you, like, the joy you feel when you make something for someone and they really like it and ask for it again? Or they're really impressed? I love that feeling. And that's why I want to give you guys that feeling to make it for your friends and family or yourself. Make yourself happy for God's sake. Okay. Love a recipe for fruit mint pies. Well, we'll work on it before Christmas. I can promise you that. Though I need to chill on baking. None of my work version fits in. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, it's all the cookies. I shouldn't have. Damn me making a delicious cookie recipe. Grumpy, who's, who's gonna test the recipe test, uh, uh, Molly Test Kitchen and test my Levain New York City style cookie? Mm. 
Hold on one moment. Oh God, hold on. What? All right. The GoPro is not working. New York cookie, I'm in. I had a Teams interview today and nothing fits. I went through two, three shirts till I got one. Do you have to wear, just wear, like, can't even just wear a jacket over top? And be like, oh, I'm just, I'm just cold today, so I'm wearing a jacket over top. I'm just cold. Okay, have we got everything? The walnuts. I didn't, wait, no, uh, one cup. No, 100 grams. Shit, I didn't weigh the... Ouch. Seventy grams. Seventy grams. I was interviewing with my old manager, so I thought I'd drop the mum look and go a wee bit professional. Oh nice. Hold on, so you were interviewing for a new job or you were interviewing them? Um seventy grams. Okay. Oh, no, I think it's a half a cup. I just realized 70 divided by two is 45. So I think, I think I've screwed this up. Cause I was thinking that's a lot of coconut. New job, how exciting. Cross fingers. Yeah, be cool. I'm gonna, I'm still on mat leave, but there is a few good opportunities in the market. Fabulous. Very excited for you. I'm gonna do something and I'll make a change to the recipe. I'm gonna add a little bit of baking powder with the baking soda. So the baking soda is gonna react with all the acid, but then I want a little bit of extra boost. So I'm gonna add a little one teaspoon of baking powder. Cool. Just to make sure that it's enough. All right. Cake tin, we need eight inch cake tins. Which I think of these. <laughs> nope, that's only one. Champagne on oh, nice. Okay. Pop it on there. And that will tell you it is an eight inch tin. So we've got two of them, gonna line them with some baking paper. Grumpy, I was thinking about it the other day that I have forgotten. The, um, the, the meaning behind Cora, Cora's name, where did it come from? Because I remember you told me, but then I forgot. And I was thinking about it the other day, because uh, I, I love the name. I think it's such a beautiful, elegant, very strong name. And I forgot. For those that don't know, no, Cora is Grumpy Gamer's newborn. Okay, so I've got two squares. Put them inside each other. So square, 
that a square, fold it in half, and then diagonal, and then diagonal again. Uh, Greek origin meaning daughter, okay. Because um, I was thinking of Ikora, um, Destiny, and I was like, maybe she got it, she got it from there. Not like, not, I know uh, that wouldn't be the, that wouldn't be like the reason, but I just, I just thought that of it when I heard from Destiny, don't worry. <laughs> okay, so what you're doing is putting it in the middle there, roughly the middle, and then put your finger onto the edge and then cut around. Like that, and then open it up. Flip it over, chuck it in, and you get a lining. Check that out. Spray. Let a bit of spray. Put these in, help them stick, not slide around. And they go up the side a little bit because it helps them release. You can cut them perfectly to fit, but I don't think it's necessary. All right. Just make sure we triple check everything before we commence. So, all purpose flour, plain flour, yes. Baking soda, yes. Baking powder, yes. Salt, because we're using oil, we need a bit of salt, okay? So we want half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Um, Mike originally wanted Cara and he relates to Battlestar Galactica as Cara is such a strong female. I wanted something slightly unique and seeing it as I had to carry over nine months, my name won. I like that. Why salt with oil? So, because we're not using butter, we usually use salted butter um, and then you don't add salt or as much salt. But because we're using oil, there's no oil, there's no salt in oil, so we need to add salt. Enhances the flavor, strength, oh, I just punched my own ring, oh. Um, strengthens the gluten, gives it structure, beautiful. Ovens on, heat preheated, because we're smarties. We've got plain flour, we've got baking soda, we've got salt, cinnamon, ginger, allspice, nutmeg, cardamom, clove. Three eggs. I forgot where I'm up to. <laughs> um, one and a half cups of sugar, there. Um, three quarters of a cup of vegetable oil, there. Three quarters of a cup of milk, plus one uh, teaspoon of lemon, one and a half teaspoons of lemon juice, there. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract, here. Um, two cups of coke, uh, carrot, can of crushed, Pineapple, I don't have crushed, I've got to break it up. Um, 45 grams or half a cup of coconut here and one cup of chopped walnuts, which they're not chopped. We should probably chop. Can I do the rice rice baby for sushi rice? Yes, you can, yep. Um, I just leave it to depressurize, but I do it all the time. Yeah, it works out really well. Oh, that's not the right one. Car 3, Starbuck. What a great inspiration for a name. Have you ever, parents in the chat, or people who are planning to have kids, have you ever thought about someone's name and be like, I'm going to steal that. I really like that name. Or have you ever had any issues with your kids naming, the, like, you know, someone naming their kid a name that you wanted to name yours or... So we're just crushing the pineapple. Crush it with our hands. Our little Starbucks. Uh, I don't know what that means, but it sounds cute. Starbucks is from Star Trek. We've kept our names close to our chest until our kidlets were born. Okay. Battle start. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. So just making sure we're crushing these or chopping them so that nice pieces, smaller, so they, they distribute around the cake a bit nicer. That looks pretty good. 
You can strain out some of the liquid if you want to. That would be beneficial. No one knew Cora was going to be Cora. Um, interesting. We told Mike's nana and my nana about Jeff's name because they were named after Jeff was named after someone. How did that? How did Jeff's names come to be? I'm wrong. I did tell, but her name slip <gasps> to my nan mid sentence. Wesley was on our shortlist for potential baby boys, but a cousin named one of their twins Weston five-ish years ago, so that's out. Oh, I think that's okay, Weston and Wesley. Um, I, what was it? I like the name, um, what was it? Oh, I like the name Olivia, but Exceeds um, ne nephew is Oliver. <laughs> um, and then I totally forgot that his ex-girlfriend is Olivia too. And he was like, you didn't remember that? And I'm like, no. I'm just trying to squish the pineapple to remove juice and then onto the spoon like that. If you squish it, it goes onto the spoon. And then you can just drink it. Delicious. Cool. Pineapple done. Chopped walnuts. Sorry, it's 9.40 and we haven't made a cake yet. We need to get a wriggle on. But this is why I recommend prepping everything because this is how you should make the cake in the first place. Um, have everything out and organized. And then you can, you know, have it prepped, make everything in one go, and then straight, that's the thing about, um, I don't really say enough, like the difference, between, you know, when you make a cake with baking powder and baking soda, you need to mix, have your dry ingredients, have everything prepared, mix it, put it in the oven ASAP, because that reaction's gonna happen, and you need to, utilize those bubbles in the oven so they, they puff and they create a really nice light cake. Because if you don't and you let it wait, then your cake's gonna be dense. Biggest issue people have is people make a double batch of cake. They put the, like half of the cake in the oven and then they wait and leave the batter on the bench. That is the biggest no-no. I've done it in the past, but it is like, you think that you're working smarter but it's really wrong. Unless you have room in your oven, don't do that. It all needs to be baked at the same time. Um, don't let batter sit on the bench because that, that, like that reaction is occurring on the bench rather than in the oven. So don't let make me come and smack you. Don't leave batter on the bench, okay? If we have a third, I think we'd be stuck for names. Do you think you, it's probably, it's probably a bit early now, but do you think that you might? Is there been a big jump from one to two? I did that on Saturday, Michaela, no. Was the second cake, did it, did it, was it a bit more dense? The third one is on the cards, okay. Okay, so. Yeah, let's do this, okay. I need to read it out. We'd leave a three year gap again. That's good. Slightly, but not significantly, okay. Uh, alrighty, so. Line the tins. Hello, everyone. If you're just joining us, welcome in. We are making the Caribbean carrot cake um, from MissMollyMakes.com. We have all of our ingredients out here. So you have plain flour, sugar, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. Um, we have all of our spices, walnuts, coconut, 
vanilla bean paste or vanilla extract, eggs, uh, oil, coconut, our milk mixed with our lemon juice, and then our um, pineapple here. Our tins have been prepared and lined. I have two bowls, a spatch. Let's get into it. So, line the two tins. So they are eight inch tins. I'm making some changes there as I go, um, or edits. Stir together the flour, baking soda, and your spices or your dry ingredients. Give it a whisk. Okay. So into this bowl here, we're gonna add in our flour. Like that. Our leavening agents and our salt. Here. Like that. And our spices. Beautiful, it's gonna be amazing. Beautiful flavor, it already smells amazing. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna add in the sugar. So all our dry ingredients, except for our mix-ins, okay? Make sure everything is whisked really well so it combines and it distributes the leavening, you know, the baking powder and baking soda evenly through the flour. Okay, all right, set that aside. And then into this bowl, we're going to add our three eggs. Like that. Whoop. And this one. There we go. Uh, our milk with our lemon juice, oil, fabulous, and then finally our vanilla. So vanilla bean paste, I like a little bit better than vanilla extract. Just has seeds a little bit thicker, really nice flavor. Okay, we're just gonna give this a whisk to make sure it's nice and incorporated. So rather than whisking back and forward like this, because of the eggs, potentially like the bowl, they'll spill over. So I just go up back and forward like this to kind of incorporate it, break the eggs up. It's gonna look quite kind of curdly here or it might separate, don't stress too much. Ideally you want it to be smooth you can get a hand mixer and immersion blender in there if you want, but the emulsion looks pretty good, nice and creamy. You got a few little curdles, and that's just because of the lemon juice reacting with our milk, but no stress. Fabulous. And here we go, we're gonna switch to our spatula, and we're gonna combine the wet and the dry ingredients. Okay. Put this aside. Uh, did anyone say here, Molly, say coconuts are the carrots? Nope, we've got coconut and carrots here. Both. But maybe I poked, well, pointed at the wrong one. Um, all right. So slowly incorporate the flour mixture, stopping to scrape down the side of the bowl. So you can add the flour into the dry or the dry into the flour. Um, we might switch. No, no, it's all good. Okay, well in there. And... We're just gonna whisk this in until it's nice and smooth. And if you know, you know that I always choose the bowl that it's a size too small. Okay, so just pick your whisk up like this, incorporate everything nicely. Sometimes I just like to mix the middle and then slowly incorporate the sides of the flour so that it doesn't create any lumps. There we go. You can let it pick it up and let it fold, fall through the, the um, balloon whisk. Helps incorporate it and remove any lumps. And we wanna work kinda quickly here because the lemon juice and the acid 
um, from the pineapple, when that gets added, is going to create the reaction. It's going to start the baking soda baking powder reaction. So we want to mix it as soon as we can, get the mix-ins in there, get it into the oven. Lick your finger if you get any batter. Tastes amazing. Okay. So now it's nice and incorporated. We can take away the whisk and move on to the spatula. Like this. Scrape the sides of the bowl. Make sure everything, even the bottom, go to the bottom like that. Look at that. Fabulous. How glossy and beautiful does that look? Yum. And we're going to add in the coconut. The key to giving really nice moisture and flavour with our Caribbean style cake is the man um, it's the pineapple, not mango today. And then the star of the show, which is our grated carrot. So add it half, mix that in. Give it a mix like that. Fold from the bottom to the top, fold it over. Beautiful. Fantastic. So you can definitely do no nuts in here if you want, just leave them out. Or you can add walnuts, pecans are really good in there too. All right. There we go. Make sure it's really distributed. You don't want any big chunks of carrot. It looks a bit gross now. But once it goes in the oven, comes together, being a really lovely, fluffy, moist cake. And walnuts that are chopped. We've sprayed and lined two eight inch tins. You can do one large eight inch tin if you like, and then cut the cake in half, but you will need to go at a lower temperature and cook it low and slow. Um, you do risk having a denser cake, so I like to do two tins. You could even do three if you want three layers in the cake as well. Okay. If you want these completely accurate, you can weigh this mixture, divide it in half, or because we're using the exact same tins, another trick to get them even is weigh them. Weigh one. Like that, 184 grams. Nope, that wasn't right. Did I zero it? What just happened? 650, hold on. 650, no, 900, I, I completely did it wrong. I didn't zero it. So zero, 799, 927. This one needs a little bit more. There we go. And so we've preheated our oven to 160 degrees Celsius, 325 Fahrenheit, I'm pretty sure. And it's on non-convection, so it's non-fan force, just a, a regular baking oven. We don't want the fan because the fan is going to cook the outside, because these are a really dense cake. Um, it's going to cook it too quickly on the outside and not get a really nice softer interior. So 950, 950, nearly bang on, 953. Let's go. Straight away, give it a jiggle, make sure it's all nice and even, and then into the oven. There we go. Done. Come back later. Look at that. Looks good, yes. Problem with mise en place. So many. Look at all these dishes. Just from one cake. Okay, so we're gonna, they're gonna be baking perfectly. It's gonna be amazing. Um, 
Don't forget to take the lemon seed. Oh, <gasps> pumpkin queen. Someone's going to end up with a, a seed. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't, can't believe I didn't see that. Shame. Someone will have a lemon seed. Lemon pip. It'll be fine. Hopefully it floats to the top. That would be good. I did ask you to remind me and I just, it was my fault. I didn't see. Oh. Okay. Uh, we'll do the cream cheese frosting later. So we only take all this away except for that. Okay. Tacos. How do you like your tacos? Who eats fish tacos? So I've got street tacos here. Tacos or oh, tortillas. And we're gonna make a beer batter. I freak it. Freaking hell. Put the flour away. So I'm using Cooper's X Ultra Light non-alcoholic beer today. So This is the beer. Margot, this is the beer that I'm using today. Uh, it is Cooper's non-alcoholic. Comes from New South Wales. South Australia, okay. So it's got water, malted barley, hops, yeast, contains gluten. But it is non-alcoholic because it's less than 0.5% alcohol. It's ultra light. Exceeds it, it's not too bad for an alcoholic free beer. Um, okay, so switch the beer batter. Uh, one and a half cups of flour of your choice. Um, salt, pepper, beer. 10 a.m. at Molly's drinking again. Hey, it's non alcoholic. Shush. Um, ideally, you'd like this to be cold but I forgot to put it in the fridge. Um, the reason you want it cold is cold liquids actually activate gluten slower. So you get a light, crispier batter without, um, without the words, the words, the words, the words, without activating too much gluten, it's not chewy. So you get a lighter result. Got to finish a few things um, before Jay heads to bed. Have a great rest of the stream. Thank you for being here. Hope you have a great week. And I want to hear, please tell me in Discord about this new stall thing. I'm sorry, I did miss it. Okay. One and a half cups of flour. So... I should know this off the top of my head. If you want to do, do correct measurements, it is 225 grams. La, 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 la. But it doesn't really matter too much. Kat, do you like beer? I know you're a whiskey man. All right, like that. Um, I'm gonna add some seasoning in there because this is not gonna be, oh. I was gonna say it's not gonna be seasoning on the website, but it might but I'm gonna add garlic and herb Old Bay, okay? Most beers, yeah. Mm. What's your favorite? Old Bay, lemon and herb. Okay, uh, salt and pepper. And then we're going to add the, the beer in there and that will make the batter. But we don't want to do it yet because we want to keep those bubbles. So the tacos are going to have some slaw, but... Okay, we have a bit of an issue. So...
So, Miss Molly, which is me, decided she'd clean out the... <sighs> she thought she'd clean out the, the fridge yesterday and seems as though there was a little bit of cabbage left. I left a little bit of cabbage uh, for the tacos and I've thrown it out, which I love that for me. Love that, because tacos, fish tacos have to have slaw. So we've got a carrot, we've got lettuce, barramundi. How's it still frozen? Okay, that's barramundi, but it's frozen still. Even though I got it out two days ago. Put it in the fridge. I did a cad. A cad it at Thanksgiving. Not take the turkey out early enough. Stouts and porters. Oh, you're a dark man. You like a bit of colour. Um... Maybe some corn, maybe do some corn, charred corn. Oh, I feel like such a dummy. So roses and girls in white dresses and... Oh my God. All right, tacos are canceled. <laughs> Baron Mundy, the James Bond villain. Yes, he's a um, white guy, big white guy. Kind of looks a bit like pinking, kingpin. All right, corn. We're gonna grill some corn, some lettuce and some carrot. And that's gonna be our. Tago's canceled, just drink the beer and call it a day. I might actually. So bummed. Tacos, fish tacos have to have slaw, in my opinion. I can't believe I didn't check. I had the whole day yesterday. I'm such a bummy, dummy bummy. What can I put with tacos? Give me a suggestion, Sean's. More carrot. It's gonna be a carrot day. Margaritas. Margaritas or pina coladas. Hey Google, add mini coconut tins to my shopping list. Sorry, I added mini coconut tins. Hey Google, add mini coconut milk tins to my shopping list. Okay, I added those two things to the list called my pina shopping coladas. List. Can I change tacos to work? Ta work cancelled. All right. I'm just going to grab... The camera's not working, so I'm just going to put this on top of the, the grill like that. I'm just going to toast it a bit. Mark's Fish Tacos Carrot Cake. Keep the Caribbean theme. Yeah, no, but I need better toppings for my tacos. Hey, Google, add good tongs to my shopping list. These don't pick up shit. Sure, Popcorn. I added good tongs. It, um, can you... Breathe your last. I don't have any, I don't have any cabbage. Threw the cabbage out. Accidentally. Why would you ever use tongs to pick up shit? What do you mean? That's what they, they literally are for. Tongs are literally f built to pick up stuff. That's their job. 
you, you, they are an extension of your hands, like club, club, crab claws, club, or club claws. Why would you ever use tongs to pick up shit? Oh, I don't want to pick up shit. What, what am I missing? Whoosh. Oh, don't pick up shit. Oh my God, no. Oh my God, oh my God. Don't pick up shit with tongs. Oh, now you got it. I would thought you were giving me a hard time because it's, you normally give me a hard time. Oh, the cop, that is literally popcorn. Look at that. But you can't pick up anything with these tongs. Just like brooms are to smash glasses. Grumpy, I didn't expect that from you. Don't, you're better than that. Don't slump to their level. Maybe you're born on that level. Maybe that's, maybe, maybe I've just under, like I, I just never noticed that you, you were on that level the whole time. Come on, you guys are giving me a hard time for playing on my words. Our work here is done, time for drinks. Amen. This better taste good. All this effort and all this slack I'm getting from you guys, the flack, flack or slack? Flack, right? You don't cut me any slack. You just give me the flack, right? Just stab it, there we go. Okay, corn. Something bad happened yesterday. You, you won't even believe it. You won't even believe. I, can't, I don't even know if I can tell you because I don't think you trust me. You won't even believe it. We ran out of butter yesterday. I had no butter in the house until like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It was the worst morning because I was trying to cook um, hot cross buns and then you can't once, I had to use oil instead of butter in the buns. Then there was nothing to put on them. And then I was also trying to make something else. There was no butter. Like, uh, how does that happen? I don't know because I was reliant on the amount of butter that I got from Costco and I ran out. So I had to buy more. And I, I just, I can't believe it. I ran out of butter. It was like, uh, you couldn't even... You couldn't even write that moment. It was like a horror film. It was like M. Night Shyamalan had come to my house and he was, he was just, you know, putting me on a beach or something with no butter. It was sad and scary. I thought I saw steam in the oven, then I realised it was Chester's reflection. Yep. I always have butter. Turn cream in, fuck, why didn't I think of that? I've got two containers of butter, of cream. Grumpy, where were you yesterday? I cannot believe that. Oh my God, I can't believe that you just said that. Why am I, oh. see I should have been streaming. Oh my Molly. See, I just needed Mama Grumpy in my life. Tester, you are too cute. He is very sweet. But yes, don't worry. We got three pats of butter. We're locked and loaded. We got th three pounds of butter, baby. See, you do need us around. We're set for a week. You know? <laughs> We're okay for now. But that could never happen again, okay? I was so stressed. I really, I, I've tried. I've tried to go with, like to quit butter and I just can't, I just can't do it. Butter is for life. Now let's solve the cabbage problem. Uber Eats does cabbage. Let's have a look. I, I don't even know if I have Uber Eats on, let's have a look. Um, 
Maybe I don't have Uber Eats here. Uber Eats. Nope. I'm going to download the app. Do you have some A4 paper you could crumple and then chop? Uber Eats. Uber Eats. Oh, it still knew what I was talking about. Okay. That's good. SEO. Not SEO, but you know what I mean. Good keywords. Good use of keywords. They, cardboard would be better. You guys are terrible. Terrible humans. One day, I'll just be able to, like, unclip you and then take you out. I have half a head. Let me toss it. <laughs> Please, thank you. What colour is it? Purple would be better. Beggars can't be choosers. The best thing, there's a really good Reddit, subreddit, called Choosy Beggars. It's a bit funny. You could just roll up and chop it into shreds. Okay. Uber Eats. Well, that was easier than I expected to log in. It's green leftover from Cold Cannon. Hey. How was your St. Paddy's Day? All right. Allow. Okay. Allow. Convenience. Groceries. Couch food, I don't want couch food. Foodery, I don't want ample. Oh, that's not near me. Oh yeah, it is. Oh my God. Cabbage. A whole cabbage for $5.50. Okay, if I add that to cart, what is the delivery fee? View cart. Go to checkout. Yeah, I would. No thanks. Does it, do I want anything else from the grocery store? No. 10 to 25 minutes. $11.50 in total. I could do priority, which makes it $16. I don't need it that bad. That's not bad. $16 for a cabbage. Priority cabbage. All right. Lower fees than here. All right. A bit of butter in there. And... The lid back on. Sixteen dollars for someone to come bring you a cabbage is cheap. Imagine being the Uber Eats driver delivering nothing but a single cabbage. I think they'd put it in a bag at least. I want germs on my cabbage. My cabbage just to re rolling around in some Uber driver's car. It's a bit un Turn on. Oh, that was my fault. We'll go, it's on now. Yes! Okay, something's happening with the cable. Oh, like that. Just stay there, camera. Right there. Don't move. All right, we've got some corn. So this is just charred corn. Browning adds some, you know, that charring just adds some, like, feel like it's on the grill. You know, it's authentic. I don't know where the authenticity is coming from. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to make, so I don't know how I can make it authentic, but it's just making some charred corn, okay? Cakes are looking good. Very nice and even. Looks great, Chuby. Carrot. Some... Still frozen barramundi, a little bit of, little bit of um, lettuce. Hashtag authentic. I don't think I have had charred corn that isn't charred in the husk. Really? Interesting. Well, now I'm going to blow your mind. Go and get some corn, take it out of the husk. Oh my God, it's full of sand. Oh my God. Let's put the sand back in there. Oh, 
free sand. I feel like I've got a beach. Oh, sorry, Rome. So much sand. All right, I've got to be gentle and rinse it in my broken sink. I can just live like this with a broken sink, can't I? Cad, I found a new food for you. Is it rolled in sugar, deep fried? And is it called a funnel cake? Liz, what's a new food for me? Think of a food for me. Oh! Yes. I say the same thing after Jeff has been in the sandpit. It's like a beach, yeah. Did you break the thing? Oh, no. I can't even, oh, I can't even muster the energy to tell you. My sink fell out of the stone. Like it's attached to the stone underneath. Hello, welcome in. Welcome in guys, pull up a chair. We're making fish tacos and carrot cake. Come on in. My name is Molly, we're a cooking stream. We recreate different food items from games, TV shows or movies, or we're just trying to make really great home cooks on Twitch. We're trying to level up your kids cooking. A little bit of intro to who we are and what we do is this. Hit back, uh, sit back and hit the follow button. Pull up a chair. All right, welcome in. Um, thank you so much, guys. Please, English. Um, we don't speak Turkish, sorry. Um, thank you, welcome in. I hope you're having a great day. Um, all the way from Turkey, very cool. Thank you so much for the, thank you for bringing your community over. Um, Turkish master chef, no way. Very cool. What's well, lovely to have you here. We are from Perth, Western Australia. So we're cooking today. Um, we've got here some corn, some charred corn with a little bit of butter and some salt. Uh, we're making a cake, which is in the oven. And we're making some, sorry, some toppings for fish tacos. Hello. Welcome in. What were they cooking on their stream today? kind of content was on the cook, uh, the channel? Were they cooking? Do you know any Turkish food? Um, so what were we making? I, I, to be honest, I don't know specific Turkish food. If you told me a few things, I'd say, yes, I've made them, but I'm a little bit nervous to say, oh no, we made, we made um, Turkish eggs. What are they called? Um, we, we made them last week, actually. Turkish eggs. Um, oh, guys. Um, Silbir eggs? Is it? We were uh, discussing the, the pronunciation of it. C-I-L. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. How do, how do I pronounce that correctly, everybody? Um... And tell me some Turkish foods that I should try. Baklava? So the biggest thing is I know you're, you're going to tell me that it's Turkish. But there's a lot of foods that are very um, shared. And everyone has their own different kind of take on it in different countries around. Um, Turkish Delight. I've had Turkish Delight. I really do like Turkish Delight. Is Turkish Delight originated in Turkey? I thought it was like... Uh, do I know Salt Bay? I think I know of Salt Bay. It's the, the salt guy. He's Turkish also. Really? Very cool. I'd love to visit Turkey. I do love the... Please forgive my ignorance. Is Turkey Middle East or counted as like the Mediterranean? 
well, uh, like the region around? Is it, are you guys included in the Middle East or are you more Mediterranean? Because I've definitely, that's very much where I would love to travel. Um, CZN, I don't know how to pronounce that. Barack, I have, this is the guy that makes the really big foods. And it's just like him staring and he's like dumping like meat into rice and stuff. Yeah, I have seen him. Um, how do you pronounce the CZN? I, I always was a bit confused with that. He's cutting recipes while smiling. Yeah, like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huge smile. Huge smile. Really great. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, like the bah Baharat, is that how you pronounce it? Chopping, always smiling. Have you ever been, never been to Turkey? I'd love to. Where am I, where am I staying go if we were to travel to Turkey? What is the, the, the best region, best area? One day, one day hopefully. Okay, corn, lettuce, carrot, um, tortillas. And then we do some sauce. And tap Turkish best delight city, okay. How many of you were coming from the channel that aren't from Turkey? Maybe you were just from, maybe you speak Turkish but you're don't, not living in Turkey right now? Changes according to expectations. Istanbul, yeah. Then Cappadocia, is that how you say it? This is really cool. Um, you need to give me a list of like two or three recipes that I must make on stream. I'll make them in the next few weeks. Try something new. You're all from Turkey, every single one. Everyone's from Turkey. No people outside of Turkey are allowed in the stream. Come on. If you wanna see cultural thing like mosque, museum, you should go to Istanbul. But I don't like tourist places. I like, I'd, like, I'd like to go to something a bit more, obviously cultural, see the, the, the cuisine, but like the, we're all Turkey now. We're all Turkey. Molly Topi and now all Turkey. Uh, here, North Queensland, fabulous. Cupy, yay Turkey. How many? Anyone in Molly Topia? Anyone been to Turkey? Travelled there before? Baklava is iconic. Must make it. I love baklava. Um, I have made it in the past. I made a. A baklava tiramisu, like Italian Turkish mix. Is that allowed? Kebab would be delicious. Okay, is kebab on the stick or kebab in the tortilla or both? Is the kebab like a donut kebab? What is no violence to both? Making a tiramisu, baklava tiramisu is, is violence to both, like no good. Can you write a note in Turkish on the back cabinet? I don't speak, I cannot write Turkish. Oh, I have made that. Kunefi, I have made that. I have made that before. I could make that now. Okay, look, you won't believe this. I didn't know this was Turkish. Where is it? Hold on. What is the best food in Austria? I, I'm Australian, not Austrian. Um, but you have to try Vegemite. Look. Do you want to make some kanefi? Will you, teach, will, you, will you tell me the right way to do it? Rude? Huh? What's rude? No salty cheese. I have, um, I have like a mozzarella. I don't have any like traditional cheese. I only have like mozzarella or some like plain cheese. That's how I did it last time I used, um, I did some research and the internet said I could use mozzarella. This is, I don't want to say it out loud. 
Um, Karayif, Karayif. Yeah, okay. So this here, this one comes from this pastry, Cypriot. Interesting. Okay, same like mozzarella, okay. Um, yeah, since it says Cypriot, this, this company. Um, famous filo pastry was made once by hand, a labor of love in a small Sydney shop front um, from immigrants from Cyprus. Okay. Our cake is nearly ready. Not yet. Cool. Cut a gift. Okay. So if I did a little bit of this in a plate, in a, in a bowl, and then cheese, and then more of this, and then the honey sauce. Cypress divided, as you know, which side? No idea. Okay. Kunefi is so good. Is that, do I pronounce it right? Kunefi? Okay. Okay, you're right. All right. So, a little bit of this. It's a bit frozen. Your kitchen is cute. Thank you. Like that? Is fast, we like, yeah? Jesus! Don't use his name in vain. I wasn't in the mood for a carrot cake, but this talk of dodo and kunufi makes me hungry. <laughs> okay, like that? I know you should let it defrost, and it's a little bit frozen, but we don't have time, we gotta hurry. Cheese? Okay, do I need a recipe? Are you gonna tell me what I need to do? Kunefi with shrimps? Nah. Okay. Like that, then cheese. Speak English. English. If you speak Turkish, it will be assumed that you're talking bad about me. Okay. Which cheese is this? Nothing. No, it's, it's special cheese. You should cover the bottom before cheese come in. Yeah, it's got... It's the bottom and then cheese on top in the middle. Did you make it? Yes. Yes, I made this cheese. Uh, it is like a mozzarella. Okay. English fatal error. What's my fatal error? Okay. More? Needs to be in between. It's in between, promise. If you learn Turkish, then this is easy. Sorry, let me just change my microchip and I'll, I'll remove English and put Turkish in the back so then I speak, okay? Like that, really quick. I'll learn really easily. Okay. Too much. And then does... The, oil, um, the butter sauce go on next? Or I just bake it like this? Yeah, we can add butter. Pistachio. Good idea. Do 
you want to come in here? Let's go. Let's go. Pistachio. Honey sauce. Okay. I can do that. Okay, shut up. What are we making now? Kunefi. It's like a Turkish dessert. It's amazing. It's so good. Fancy pantry. Shut up. Okay. I'm cute. Thanks. You make me nervous. Can you teleport me some? Sure. So good. Also read that not pantry panties. Okay. Pistachio. We chop. Chopping. I got no big knife. Where's my big knife at? Okay. What a production. We got this camera. We got this camera. We got this camera. And then we got one in the pantry too. You can smash it. I made this for myself. I've never made it on stream. If you're new, hit the follow button. Come and hang out with us. We do cooking. I'm not a master chef, but I, I'm okay. Thank you. Thanks guys. Very much appreciate the, appreciate the raid. Too much camera? What? You should record some YouTube videos. Why? Live is better. Live is so much better. Okay. Take this off. You've got mail. Um, Molly's not a master chef, but she is above average chef. Home cook. Home cook. I appreciate that, Kat. It's the nicest thing you've ever said. It's the newest, nicest thing you've ever said. The best thing you could ever say is that I'm your best friend. That would be good. Oh, you forgot the cat. Shut up. Okay, like that. And then butter, butter on top. We, would, we were just having a conversation that butter is amazing. Butter is the best. Okay. Butter? How much butter? No, you need a third, third of what? Did you make it again? No? Um, I'm pretty sure you add a butter sauce. One spoon. That's it. One big spoon. Too much butter. No. Okay. Melt it. And then the honey sauce. Um, honey sauce with rose water. Drizzle on top. After, right? At the end? I think it's not enough. You guys are confusing. Four spoons? Don't forget the cakes. Not done yet. Not yet. Stop calling me honey, Molly. No, 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 no. Honey sauce is final move. <laughs> final boss. Okay. Okay, I love that. But Rose, salt bay. Hold on, two seconds. Hey, make a sound. Two way love, gotta keep it down. Um. Okay.
I feel like Aral Pozgor is is uh, give me a hard time. Arab Osgor Osgor Aral. Is this is this okay? Did not use this before. No, 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 no. What's no, no, no? Made in Lebanon. It's not. We are using to clean our hands. Why? Rose juice. Yeah, juices of rose. Yep. Yeah. Don't use it. Why? Why? This doesn't go in there? How come? Don't use it on Kenefe. Really? Hey Google, do you use rose water with Kenefe? On the website okay. of Ada.com, they say botanical kinetic skin toning agent. Hydrate and cool Stop. skin with this moisture rich mist. Okay, does this do this? Why do you not believe me? Just asking, I just asked Google. Hey, Sea Breeze. How are you doing? I'm all right. I'm getting told what to do to make this recipe. We got raided by a Turkish master chef and their community is teaching us to make kunefi. Must compress. Okay. I can do that. Press. Um, how? Like this. How, how compressed? Gualak dessert in rose juice, different dessert. Okay. But like Turkish baklava has Turkish, um, has a rose or no? Ugh. English. English, por favor. <laughs> English, please. Baklava don't have it. It doesn't have it. Okay. I think it needs more butter. It's very dry. Thank you, Shana. Appreciate it. Please speak English, everybody. I can't understand you. I feel like I need more butter. A little bit more butter. Sorry, ma'am. Telling you not to use. He was telling you not to use translator. Okay. More butter. Turkish guys, please do not speak Turkish. <laughs> I know it's hard. It's hard. Um, but I suppose if you don't speak English, use the Google Translator. Okay. Do you know how to bake it in the oven? Do, how do, do I specially bake it somehow? Rome. Right. How do I bake it special? Shh. Chat, use local joke, don't translate Turkish. Molly, I'm so lost. Some of you guys don't know the language and they want to communicate with us. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. I understand. As long as it's like, if it's friendly. But they can translate in English, like they can use the translator to. Okay.
Oh, thank you, Rosalie. Okay. Good? Is that oven now? Can I put it in the oven? Did you cook before? Once, once, once. But not, not this, not like Turkish way. Making the kunefi in a pan. This is okay though. This is just in the oven. I think this will be fine. Let's put it in the oven. Aluminium pan, that's fine, that's all good. It's just same, same, but different. Okay. And then honey syrup or sugar syrup? Honey and sugar, what do I do? But no rose water, sugar, sugar, okay? Sugar would be better, okay. One sugar, one water, okay? No rose. Okay. No rose, please. Okay. Add some water. Lemon juice, yep. Um, lemon juice. Do you use tap water? Yes. My tap water is uh, filtered. Uh, we, we got a filter installed uh, two weeks ago. It's nice. Has anyone in chat from Turkey, have you eaten carrot cake? Does turkey have carrot cake? Two to three drops, okay. Do you like carrot cake? Is it common in Turkey? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Rome, Rome. Your mums are making carrot cake? It's common? Okay. Um, does it have, like, a? Um, is it f similar to my carrot cake with like uh, cream cheese. When doing boiling sugar and water, you have to add one teaspoon lemon juice after boil, then wait to cool, then you can use your sauce, okay. So this, yeah, kunef is the priority. We're making both. We'll be back. So bring this to the boil. Sugar, good. Do I put the lemon juice and at the end? It, it, or will it, can I put it in now? I'm trying not to speak so fast because my English, my Australian English is very fast. I speak very quickly and it can be a little bit hard to understand. So I want to be conscious of that. Is it starting to boil? Um, nearly. See a mouse. When you, it's boiling, okay. Australian is fast talking, it's easy to forget, yeah. Five minute boiling, okay. Uh, no honey, just sugar, no honey. Captions have hard time keeping up, yeah. No honey, okay. Someone said honey. Whoever said honey, naughty. <laughs> you made me confused. How did, uh, yes, so um, we've had a raid from a Turkish streamer, Turkish uh, master chef. Just took us off quickly, just off the side. Um, we've got, Cake in the oven and kunefi, Turkish dessert. Have to turn it upside down, the kunefi, then it is fried for browning on both sides. Oh gosh. But the oven will make it brown. 
Quickly change the menu. Quickly. I'm a, I'm a, uh, what's it called? A ninja. Honey version only honey, original version only sugar. Okay. Which is better, honey or sugar? I think sugar. Cake one. Carrot cake. Cake two. Didn't you make gozlemi? Oh yeah, I make gozlemi all the time. Is this Turkish? I make gozlemi all the time. Uh, gozlemi is amazing. Okay, do you guys, is it pide or pied? Pide? P-I-D-E? Gozlemi is Turkish too, oh my God. It's pretty quick, very quick. First one, pide. Pide? We got a big raid. Yes, P day. P day, not pied. Okay. Here we go. You know all the Turkish foods. I try. <laughs> um, let's have a look. Let's ask Google, more Turkish foods. Kebabs, yeah. Turkish make the best kebabs. Turkish kebabs are better than Greek souvlaki. Enough? Not enough, too much. You are the master chef, appreciate you. Okay. Turkish make the best vegetables. Yeah, that's good. I didn't use much. The lemon has not, lo not a lot of juice. Um, okay, Turkish foods. Greek always copy us. I think there was a war over that, Molly. Oh, really? Shit. Um, okay, delicious Turkish foods to try. Okay? This is from the CNN. So it's probably crap. Um, Piyaz? P-I-Y-A-S, Y-Z, I've never heard of it. Okay, not heard of that. Saksuka, different to shakshuka. Kiz, kizir, kizir. Oh my God, I want my, Molly to make borek. Okay, um, redeem it, I'll make borek. Oh, thank you, Rex. Um, kofta. I've had kofta. Kofta's good. Dolma. No, I don't like dolma. I need, like, a dolma from a, a, a tin. It's not good. But, like, I want someone to make me fresh, fresh dolma. Leaf dolma, yeah. Me bought is kofta. Okay. Uh, different types of kofta, yeah. Oh yeah, there's um, Iskender, is that how you pronounce it, Iskender? Any meat version you want, thank you. Kebab, ooh, donut kebab's good. Greek garlic, oh no, not Greek, um, garlic sauce on a donut kebab with egg is good. Um, oh, guys, who eats this? Who eats that? that? That's fish, right? Fish with rice. Mm, what kind of fish? Anchovies? Nah. Black Sea region. Okay. Ooh. Is that rice? 
Um, <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. I've eaten manti. Manti? Manti? It's so good. Manti is so good. Oh my God. Guys, you know how I talked to you about how much I love Turkish eggs, the silbir, silbir, I think. The manti, so good. Lamb, so good. Like little dumplings, delicious. I've made them on stream twice. They've got like a Greek yogurt with like a brown butter sauce. It's very, very nice. Oh, menti is goat, but I make lamb because uh, it was easier to find. Yeah, like a, like a Turkish ravioli. Oh, that's cool. It's in a terracotta pan. What? That's very cool. Yogurt and garlic, yeah. Um, Gozleme, best. There's a recipe um, on my website, um, not yet um, pre uh, released, but I, I do have a recipe for this. But it makes me nervous now to release. This is good, pide. Ooh, that looks good. What, what kind of flavors do you put in there? Just cheese? Nomadic herders hundreds of years ago ate it, okay. Just cheese, soft and nice, okay. Ooh. Lamukan, Lamukun. Ottoman explorer, century. Interesting. What is this? Oh, that's good. Baklava, yes. Baklava's so good. Okay, what's this? Donduma, donduma. Ice cream that you can eat with a knife and fork. What? Ice cream. Is special? Salep. Interesting. Salep is a type of flour produced from orchids. It's like a, a gum. Hard to cut. Okay. Yes. Turkish delight. Lokum. Is that how you pronounce it? Lokum. Mmm. So good. So sweet. Okay, so for those that don't know what we're making today, is this. Mine's a little bit different because mine's in a pot. But it's like... So it's like layers of this pastry with cheese and then more pastry and then we're going to add some more pistachios. It's very good. But it needs more browning, hey? You think I put it on a fry pan? That's the sauce gets drizzled over it like a baklava. I wish you to try in Turkey, okay? This sauce could be cold. You want me to make it cold? Okay. So, I put this in there and then make it like fry it so that it goes brown and then add sauce. Yeah? It needs to be brown. It will, it will brown it in the pan. Oh, hot. Roast it, add the sauce. But it takes too long. Roasting takes a long time. Oh, 
Oh, sorry. But if you need to keep it strict, or like, we'll see. You can do 15 minute turn, okay. No, 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 no. What do you mean? Tastes good. Okay, that will be fun. No, 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 okay. <laughs> Um, do you guys eat a lot of fish in Turkey? This is for everybody. Who likes fish? Um, I don't know how to pronounce it or spell it. I don't like it personally, Not don't like fish. We can do chicken too. Love fish. We're using barramundi. This is the cake. We're consuming a bit, okay. Canned fish. What type of fish? Like sardine or tuna? Um, I love fish and also Turkish guys say if my father came out of the sea I would eat. <laughs> You'd eat your dad? You can eat it, okay. Yeah, it's a fact. What is the best food, your, like best dish your mum or dad make? Your, your mums do the cooking? Who does the cooking? Or your wife or your partner or you? What's the best dish that you like? Okay, issue, big issue. It's sticking to the pan. All right, you ready? Your dad is the cook? <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. Yeah, kinda. Needs more butter. My gosh. Get in there. Your mum cooks good manti? I need um, someone, does, do you guys want to give me a recipe for good manti? I need some, uh, some secrets. Give me your secrets. <laughs> you, Dad makes really good kebab. Look at this. Look at this. Ooh. So good. Mmm. Very good. My mum's Caucasian hingle? Same like menti. Okay, one moment. I need to fix my camera. It broke. Damn it. Is kunefi eaten like for a special occasion, for an event, or or any time?
fixed it. Okay. Delicious. Delicious. What's that? Hey, thank you for the thank you for the sub. Appreciate you. Thanks, guys. All right, I I hope I said your name right. Thank you very much for all of your help. Okay. Um, mum never shares a rulp. A rulp? Okay, nearly ready. Delicious. A rulp, thank you for, thank you for gifting. G-Z-N-R-R. -R. Don't know how to pronounce that, but thank you for gifting to them. It seems good. Appreciate it. More crispy and then the sauce. And then do we serve it on a plate? It's not perfect. We, we didn't make it very good, but it's going to taste good. It's so delicious. If you ever have an opportunity to get this pastry, it's so good. Like it's crispy, it's sweet, it's a bit savory. You've got the pecan, um, the pistachios in there. It's amazing. Maybe you can do Manti tomorrow. Maybe not tomorrow. Maybe next week and the week after. Okay, cool. Put them here. Uh, take this off. Okay, uh, we wanna cook the, cut the chicken and the fish. So, this one's chicken. I wouldn't even call that yum yuck. Looks good to me. I'm not Turkish, but I'm in past. Thank you. Okay. How often do you live? Three times, three times, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Next stream, one day and 20 hour, 21 hours. Okay. Delicious. Thank you, thank you guys. Appreciate it. How lovely, thank you everyone. Yeah, we're making soup. Uh, we're making corn, chicken and corn soup. Delicious. And thank you. Appreciate it. Um, chicken and corn soup. We're making Italian wedding soup. Delicious. Thank you. G-Z-N-R-R. I don't know how, tell me how to say your name. Thank you for five subs. Thank you so much. What an amazing, oh my God. Thank you everybody. What a day. What a day. Thank you. Kamal, Kamal, okay. Thank you Kamal. Okay, we're gonna flip it. Turkish are generous. All right, flip it. Ready? I gotta not burn myself. Pretty good. This is not burnt, it's brown, not brown, uh, not burnt, okay? This side better, it's better, I think. Oh, nah, not very good.
But you have to fry it once. Nah, really? Just drizzle it. Add to the kunafi pan again. No. Can I just do this? Can you hear the sizzle? Can you hear? Oh, no, not anymore. No sizzle. I think it's okay. Come on, thank you for it. Good luck for your exam. Have a great day. Good luck with your exam. Hope it goes well. Uh, guys, can we give some love to Kamal, please? Thank you for the gifted subs. Thank you for being here. You can second time better. Make it again. You mean? And do I cut it? Look, ready? Oh, it's so crunchy. Describe the taste. Okay. Look at that. Okay. Do you have a bird in your house? I, I need to pause. Um, it's, I need to, it's my, my phone's not on D&D. Do not disturb. Okay. Don't get burnt. Okay, ready? Mmm. Mmm. It's um, a little bit salty because of the butter. The butter's salty. And then very sweet because of the sauce. Crunchy. The pique um, pistachio is very nice. And then the like plain cheese is very good. This is Chester. Mmm. It's very sweet. I don't like a lot too much of the sauce, the sugar sauce. It's very sweet. Mmm. He can have the not sweet part. So good. Mmm. Yeah, so traditionally, I think it's served with a lot of sugar syrup, but I don't like too much because I like it to be a bit more savory. Very good. Look at this. It's like everything that you want. Turkish know how to do desserts. Like it's cheese and savory. I mean, it's very sweet and nuts. Like that's mozzarella. Look at that. So good. There is no place for savory in Kunepi. <laughs> All sugar. And the lemon, a little bit of lemon. So good. This is a good idea. Thank you everyone. This was a good idea. Pastry, I got from RGA. Um, I will post pictures or you can have a look. Mm. You need this. This is the main ingredient. So it looks like this. It's like really thin phyllo pastry. Chester the tester, that's it. So the pastry, 
the pastry, a layer of cheese. I use mozzarella cheese because um, the Turkish cheese is not available in Australia, so I use Turk, um, mozzarella. And then more layer of pastry or you, and nuts, um, pistachios, and then pastry. You press it down and bake it or in the pan. And then you add the sugar syrup, which is one part sugar, one part water, and then a little lemon juice. And it is so good. Mm. Yum. Messy. What a mess. Pan better. Okay. Do you have to use pistachio? No, I don't think so. But it is good. You can can you use um, peanuts or other nuts, guys? Mmm, we have a lot of camels. Mm -hmm. Someone mentioned walnuts. Okay. Is it phyllo dough? Yes. But it's thin phyllo dough, like it's special type of phyllo dough. Mmm. Yum. Try this. I like kangaroos. Um, kangaroos are okay. They're dangerous. Mm. Borek, we can do in like next week or week after. Yeah, um, kangaroo doesn't taste very good. Not good to eat. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. No fat. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Um, my, my dad lives in the country and he eats a lot of um, hits, um, car accidents because they, they on the road. And then the cars come and then they hit them. Um, when, like, the lights, the, the light, they see the light, they get scared and they run across the road. Oh. Um, very simple. You need to make the simple dough and mince meat and onions. Okay. Next week, I'll make them. Chicken. Chicken, chicken. Where's my chicken? Here. We're making... Chicken tacos and fish tacos. My other chef has arrived. Chester. Do you guys like crocodile? Have you seen Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter? Crocodile hunter, crocodile, what's his name? Is his name a crocodile? What was Steve Irwin's name? My eyes closing, nice to meet you. Thank you for being here. See you next time. Sleep well. Steve Irwin's name was Steve. I oh, know, but was he the crocodile or something? I just had a memory blank. Crocodile Hunter. Okay. You like Crocodile Hunter? Ready? Get a bit of meat. Ah! Crocodile. Chester. I'm a gastronomy student. Wow. Okay. What's your favorite thing to cook? You like savory food or dessert? Do you think you'll start a Twitch stream? Be a Twitch cook? French cuisine, okay. I prefer traditional cook. Cocky. All right. Um, chicken and fish.
Oh. My second dog has come. No, I don't have properties of streaming. You don't want to? You can teach. You can teach Turkish people some nice food, French food. Okay, chicken, fish. Fish. This is barramundi. Several famous people on Twitch. You can be the next one. Man, it's got skin on and fuck. I have to remove the fillet. Sex in a pan layered dessert. No, it isn't. It isn't yet. Do you want it to be? Some people like the crispy skin with, with um, it's got all um, scales on it. And I feel, yeah, I don't have, it's in, it's in the, it's behind. I'm being lazy. Okay. There we go. You scale it. I know, but I don't want to. Will dogs eat fish? Outside. Okay. Fish pieces. Home cook on Twitch. Professional Twitch cook. Six years on Twitch. And I have a website with all my recipes. Not all, some. Professional social media cook, yeah. Okay, yeah. Professional cook, yeah. Six years, well, anniversary is the 20th of April, next month. Almost six months, six years. Okay, fish frying. We're gonna do it in some... Here. Pan. Hey, Rusty. What'd you forget about? Oil. Do you ever think about taking education about gastronomy? Um, yeah, but I can learn, I, like don't have to do a course, I don't think. I don't have to, like learn from doing, learn from maybe. I don't have much time though. You can teach me. How about that? Four years, nine months. Damn. That's a long time. Okay. When you start your stream, I'll learn from you. Okay, Aral? Aral? I am not instruction. Yes, you can. You can teach me. Romeo's trying to eat fish skin. It's not going very well. 
Um, beer, flour mix, salt, more salt. And we're making beer batter. Kitchen makes me jealous. It's a big kitchen. I'm very lucky. Very, very lucky. I am. Okay. Uh, how much milk? We want one cup. Beer. Non-alcoholic beer, okay? No alcohol. I'm gonna try some with baking powder and one without. Is this powder? Uh, flour? Uh, salt, pepper, and seasoning. Like that. Maybe more. Never heard of milk being used in beer batter. Milk? You said milk, did I really? Did I say me? I meant beer. Oops, sorry. Okay. I heard milk too. I mean beer, non-alcoholic beer. Not non-alcoholic milk. My bad, sorry. I don't want to keep mixing, but it's lumpy. Okay, a little bit in here. Corn, carrot, we need to make the sauce. Um, we're gonna do chipotle and eat a bit of kunefi. Oh, so good. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I added it way too quick. Mm. This honey. Turkish version, total mineral water, yeah. Shit, I am, no, you're good. Okay. Delicious. <coughs> Spicy. Maybe um, some battered potatoes as well, some chippies. You wanna see another dog while we wait? For those that are new to the stream, you saw the white dog, now we have an other dog, black dog.
This is Romeo. He grumpy. <laughs> Do you like your fish? Wash my hands. Clean. Okay. Chicken and then fish. Uh, do you finish explaining how the sink broke? Oh, um, it just fell. <laughs> out, like, so it's undermount, so it's stuck on the edges to the, to the stone, and it just fell off. Um, it didn't have any brackets, and it just looks like there was just silicon, silicon glue. Like, there's nothing holding it there. So very disappointed. And now we have to get it fixed somehow. Doesn't make sense. It's only one and a half years old. Unlock, by the way. What's unlock? Huh? Bad workmanship. And they said, yeah, one year warranty. And that they wanted to charge me $360 to fix it. The bench top's fine. Yeah, bench top's fine. Okay. This, yeah, look good. Looks good. That's expensive. Yeah, not happy. Yeah, that's what I would have thought. And Potsla. What kind of oil? Um, this is rice bran oil. Yeah, considering it's quite expensive for the stone and everything, rice bran. Like uh, canola oil is good. Peanut oil. for frying, yeah. My teeth resin. You talking about like actual dentures, like dental teeth? Better must be tasty. Maybe, hopefully. A resin instead of veneer is cool. Um, with this, it, I don't think it's going to go very um, brown, so just testing. I could add some sugar in it, but there's not a lot that will go brown. Mm. It's good though. I'm going to add some baking powder, give it more life. Yeah, um, we don't have... We, um, like, uh, peanut oil, the containers in Australia are all really small. We don't have a lot of rice, uh, peanut oil. It's very expensive. Whereas I know it's more common in the US. Seasoning, yeah. 
Um, I added salt, pepper, and Old Bay. Um, mixture of coriander, cumin, paprika, lemon, parsley, I think. This one is, where did it go? It has uh, garlic, spices and herbs, paprika, celery, salt, red pepper, bay leaves, salt. Coriander makes me mad, why? Coriander's good. I don't like their flavor, it's good. Delicious. Okay. Fish time. Time for the fish. Okay. Go here. Or here. You fry them twice? Oh no, just once. You need to make sure that the fish is cooked, but you don't want to overcook it, because it's really dry. Yeah, the baking powder makes a difference. Much better. Much better, much better. Do, 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 do. We still need to make the cake. Finish the cake. Long stream. Yes. The uh, uh, the cream cheese icing awaits. It does. Hmm. Beer battered chicken is okay, but it doesn't taste as good as fish. F um, corn flour with anchovies. And anchovies? Or anchovy? Ooh. Corn flour will give you a very light result, yeah. Any or fight kind of fishes, yeah. Anchovy, yeah. Very light result and it's going to crispy. Last bit. And a little bit of potato. Shall we do potato? You didn't like seafood when you were a child? Rusty. 
Christy, delicious. thank you so much for the resale for seven months. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. It's lovely to see you. How is Mrs. Brams? How have you guys been? You, is the weather warming up for you now? Okay. Big long fish. Um, it's been so nice, I can imagine. Um, we're definitely coming to visit next time we're up there. Every time we watch something and Rhode Island's up there, I'm like, hey, see, that's where the, the Frams family are from. He was a fisherman and he made me a table with hunted fishes and it, they were delicious, nice. I started to eat seafood with my neighbor. Nice, fresh seafood's the best. Okay. Um, potato. do them <clears throat> thin because they cook faster. Uh, no potato, regular potato called uh, Royal Blue. I forgot that we shared. Oh, did you? really? The 20th? You're kidding. Six years. No way. Leia is purple. Yeah, it's good potato. I'm back, what are you making? Fish tacos and a little bit of chips. That's okay. Dogs think there's food. Fish tacos are something not really popular here. Really? Would you try it though? Have you had it before, Rusty? Hundred percent. I dropped a potato on the floor. Look at that. Okay. Ready? Look at that. Delicious. Very hot. Actually, I can give you a recipe about the plate. Okay. And dip in the sauce. Mmm. Quahog Rhode Island is in a city, but we call, call it clams around here.
Chippies. The clams. I don't know how I feel about clams. They're a lot of work to then eat only a little bit. You know what I mean? Is it worth it? Ooh. Potato down. Depends on what you do with them. I like mussels a bit better. Quahog is a real place in Rhode Island. Quahog. Such a cool name. Family Guy is from Quahog, Rhode Island. Oh, really? Okay. That was a, I didn't know that. And then you get this. Everybody needs this. Chippy salt, best salt. Oh, sorry. I took a photo accidentally. Thank you. I appreciate it on Instagram, good. Salt that tastes like chicken, chicken seasoning. It's really good. Get it on Amazon. Oh yeah, these are good. Oh my goodness. These are like the best chips I've ever made. Mm. Oh, it's not, it's just what we call our native clams. Quahog clams. Hot. I get what you mean. I thought, Rusty, the way that I read it was that like Quahog was not big enough to call, be called a town, uh, to call a city. It was just a town. <laughs> That's what I thought you meant. Okay, tacos. Are you ready for Taco Town? Corn. Mm. Move this. Warm your tortillas. Tortillas. Okay. Bit low on the taco slaw. Bit sad. Very sad. I'm very sad. Very, very, very sad. No coriander even. This is a sad day. Parsley. Boring. But we have kunefi. Mmm. Would have been really good. It sounds like someone's building next to my house. It's very loud. Okay. Soft, soft tacos. Okay. Mmm, so good. Need salt. Chicken, fish. Hot. Turkish, we say. Afi Afiat Olsen. Afiet, Afiet, Olsen. Yep. And that means bon appetit, like good, for, good. Like what is the translation? The direct translation. It's like good meal. Okay. Ready? 
Taco one. Google says enjoy your meal. Okay. So, lettuce, carrot. I've been looking forward to fish tacos all week and then I don't buy the ingredients and it sucks. So sad. Okay, fish. And then, I think it'll still be good. Chipotle sauce. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, stay on there like that. There we go. Look at that. Looks good. What do you think? Now we need to make frosting. Um, fish is not ready to be eaten yet. How come? Oh, that's why it rolled off the pan. Lettuce, carrot, buttercorn, and fish. Ready? Looks good. Yeah. Right. Ready? Let's have a taste. Mm. Um, the, the, the sauce has chipotle in it, so it's a little bit spicy. Mmm. Yummy. It's obsessed with sriracha. That's good. It's very yummy. Mmm. A bit more sauce. Your job is an engineer. Big turn, so big turn. Huh? Mmm. Chipotle is good. Done. Take time. Time for cake. Tired. We took a detour and now I'm paying for it. Oh, and chips. Chips are good too. Okay. So we need lemon, cream cheese. Put everything to the side. These, these chips are really good. Okay. Um, cake. So we need for the frosting, 125 grams of butter and 125 grams of cream cheese. Okay, so one and a half blocks.
Oh my gosh, my energy is fading. I'm so tired. 120, uh, 225. So this is one and a half blocks. What? I need a wire scale. Scale, scale, scale. Where is the scale? Yeah. Okay. Two hundred and four, because I used a little bit from this. And then we're going to use about three cups of powdered sugar. Okay. Um, did I cut anything with that? I don't think so. Okay. So. 225 grams of butter. I need more butter. Need more butter. There we go, 225, good. I'm just gonna chop it up so that it blends a little bit nicer. Okay, this goes in there. Always room temperature, it blends in the mixer, easy. Okay. Go to the back. I need hand mixer. Where's my hand mixer? Here, here. Um, uh, sticks of butter, no. Uh, Australia doesn't do sticks of butter. We only we have blocks or pats of butter, 250 grams, which is kind of like two sticks. Basically two sticks. And then 500 grams, which is a pound, just over a pound. Huge bench butter fan, told ya. Once you go bench butter, you never go back, unless it's summer. Where is my kitchen map? I just do that. What is bench butter? It's better the butter that you leave on the bench or in a room temperature. That you can use it all the time and always spread it on your toast or whatnot. Has to be salted butter. Now we need icing sugar, so three cups. Uh, 
Um, half a cup here. Make it to your preference of sweetness. So if you like it really sweet, add more. That's two. And we're gonna add them a bit more later. Um, but we want some lemon juice. And I like to add the lemon juice to help add a little bit of liquid for this so that it, it wets it a little bit more. It doesn't go everywhere. Uh, yeah, blocks or pats, a pat of butter, P-A-T. Pat a cake, pat of butter, because they used to pat it when they used to make it into blocks, the little pat thing. Oh, we got a seed. There we go. That seed was rescued. The one in the cake didn't, didn't make it. That, have a taste. Mmm, good. Scrape the sides. And just keep whipping. Mm. You could add a little bit, bit of cream. So, like a, a half a cup or a quarter of a cup of cream. It is so good. I don't know if, if that we should make more. It's so good. Like it's not too sweet. It is frosting, cream cheese frosting. I think it needs more cream cheese. Like that. And then just whip. Whip, 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 whip. butter in there, the butter makes it less sweet and less like rich, so it's more like a buttercream with cream cheese in it. Look at that. That is magnificent. Oh my god. I love that. I'm going to add more lemon. I like it more zesty, um, a little bit tangy, but you don't have to. Okay. Seed. You could add, um, like, have a look at this. Get closer, seriously. It is the most beautiful, silky texture. The more you whip it, the more air you incorporate, and it goes smooth. Look 
the beads up like that. You get some stuff that goes places, but you get less stuff on the bead. Um, does the cream cheese make it more like cheesecake? Um, kind of. It's not as thick like as cheesecake. It's more like tangy. And it's got a lot of air in it, so it's nice, nice and creamy um, and light. So you know with like regular buttercream, how it's like very, very sweet? This is creamy and tangy and just the perfect accompaniment. Should we add some spiced rum to it? She says that as she's already done the beaters. What do we think? Spiced rum or nah? Or we could always do like a, a soak for the cake and add some spiced rum to the cake. You speak in my love language. Um. A soak. And then we'll do a pina colada. Mm, not a poke cake. A soak is very common. Um, milk or sugar water or alcohol, you literally just brush it on with a paper, um, with a brush. I found the subtitle button. Good job. We should have told everyone else. I, I wonder if it translates, you could get it to translate the subtitles into a different language. Why did I come in the pantry, guys? Oh, the, the thing. Um, coconut milk. <gasps> yeah, I have coconut milk. Um, okay, so I came in here to get a this. I don't know where my plastic one's gone. This one doesn't have a lock, which is not too bad, but, um, okay. The cakes, look how beautiful these look. So like I said, um, I did the cake in two containers, two tins, so I don't have to cut it in half. But if you wanted to, you could even cut these in half. It makes quite a big cake. So you could make half a portion and it would be still really nice. Like that, that's a good portion of cake. Okay. They don't really need to be trimmed off very much. I'm just gonna take a skerrick off the top, mainly so I can taste the cake now. Mm. It's so good. It's so good. Mm. There is no frosting. Maybe you should make this for your mums. Okay. Um. Brush. I like that little bit of crunch. You can you can hear the little bit of crunch because of the sugar in there. Yeah. Rum, spice rum. A little bit. People that don't like carrot cake never had that carrot, had carrot cake. Never had good carrot cake. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do this one here. Um, a little bit of baking paper, so it doesn't stick. No, don't do that, because every time I do, I'll do it anyway. Mm, will I? What happens is it's hard to move 
when I cut a photo, and uh, take a photo, you can see white. So just at least much, a little bit. Look at that. Cool. Cake. Like that. This one over here. So good. Stretch film. Um, I need to take this one off too. Yeah. We need somewhere for the coconut and um, the. Oh, look at that. Just so flavorful. Cling film. At the bottom? Right. Romeo. Okay. Get this, because we need something for this to soak into. One minute. Amazon man, boo boo. Always put a tiny bit of frosting on the pedestal and then like so it stops us moving around. This is a good trick. I was, oh, like I was, because I'm only doing it pretty simply. I didn't think I'd need it, but okay. What is this? I only bought these on the on Monday. New bannetons, baby. Look at these. To make bread, because I had to throw out the other ones. I didn't order the cabbage. Couldn't do it. These are for making bread. My other ones um, got bugs in them. So take these off, put them in the wash. New, um, I think it was a set for like $30, which is pretty cool. Okay, back to the cooking, wash my hands. Okay. Join the Saudo squad, yeah. Don't add too much, just enough. Rum. I do love ciabatta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I make ciabatta. It's very, very nice. Okay. So this, there might be lots of air bubbles. So you just mix it around and just deflate the big bubbles. Oh my God. Can you look at that? So smooth and smooth, so soft. It's a bit awkward how to stir it with this thing, but see how there's big bubbles? You just want to pop them. I made the ciabatta for earthquake victims two weeks ago. Two months ago, you did. 
I totally forgot about that. Was that in your, near your area or was it nearby? You're a good human. Maybe you heard, I did hear it a little bit, yeah. My banatons. Hmm? No. Oh, it's cream cheese. It's so good. You want a taco? Is this chicken? Um, no, but I can swap it out. This is chicken. There you go. Thanks. And the stuff there. Um, western side of Turkey. Turkey. Um, southeast side of Turkey. Okay. So you live in the western side, but it happened in the southeast. Okay. Okay, like this. You guys can all see. How thick do we want the inside? Not too thick. There we go. Oh, so good, guys. Do we want the whisk and um, the rum there as well? Add the rum. This is an optional extra part of the recipe. Okay, ready? Ooh! Hello there. Your husband is a lucky man. <laughs> I agree. I'm a lucky woman though too. We're both lucky. Doesn't it look spectacular? Oh my gosh, guys. And then more frosting on top. This will be on the website on Monday, hopefully. If it, go, if it tastes good, which I think it will, it will be on the website on Monday. I need to take photos. A lot of cream cheese, maybe too much cream cheese. Frosting. It's a good vessel. What kind of city is Perth? Um, can't it be, say, Victoria City? Um, uh, what do you mean? Tergustumus Tergatsum Tergamutsu? Is that how you say it? Um, Perth is very, um, very pretty. It has, um, it's very spread out. The, the city that I live is very uh, much like by the ocean, very like fishermen. Um, Boats and very pretty. His name means Turkish. Is that how I say it? Oh, it's a big cake. Turgut is his name. Okay. Is that good? You want coating on the edges too? Nah, just on top. 
Sounds like a good treat for game night at Silver and Bells, yeah. Looks pretty good. Um, I can put in a piping bag and we pipe around the top. What do you... I think that's what we'll do. Um, one moment. Piping bag, piping bag. Um, Belgor's sick because he's um, starting this new job. He's doing training. Um, and he had to get a... COVID vaccination on one side and the flu vaccination on the other. So it's made him sick. He was very tired, just, you know, flu symptoms. Okay. This. Both at once, yuck, yeah. Thank you. It's gonna take a little bit off the top. Like that. This is just an old, a pipe from the hardware store. Helps keep your piping bag up. Okay. Like that. Okay. What do you think? Look around. Um, and we need some walnuts. I don't know if I like it. I don't think I do. a coolie but there's no I don't know about the flavors maybe some toasted coconut Honey here. Do you think this size is too big for like an everyday cake? Do you think it should be smaller? It's a lot of cake. Inspiring me to bake this cake at midnight. For someone who loves carrot cake, this is perfect. 
I'll be halving the icing recipe just for home. Um, I think I'm going to reduce the icing. Looks like a double, pay, uh, double batch of cake to me. Um, you can make this in a nine inch pan and it will be a bit bigger. Like it'll be look like less because it's wider. Okay. And then I think I'm gonna add some toasted coconut on the inside. It's a big cake. I think I might have the cake recipe. Because, like, you know, you can definitely double it for, like, this size for an occasion. But, like, people want everyday carrot cake. That's not everyday carrot cake. That's fancy carrot cake. But the problem is I have to do a two-thirds. Because, 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 it's got three eggs. You can't half three eggs. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm weird about cake. I enjoy it, but not for days at a row. I'm a, the same. I'm definitely the same. Like, exceed and I will eat this if it was half, but then if there's so much of it. Or, yeah, like, it would take us days to get through it. Do you think I should have done the sides or leave them... Naked. Spread it on the sides or nah? Kind of looks like it should be a birthday cake. Do I follow the Michelin? Not really. I'm very much a home cook. I don't really do chefy things. Like follow. There's. A place that I want to go, a few, oh shit, a few Michelin star restaurants. I've, I've never been to a Michelin star restaurant. I really want to. Um, fine dining. I would like to go to some in Japan, some like sushi places and ramen places in Japan that are Michelin starred. Um, this is why I don't bake often. I don't want that much sweet for myself. Your plates are fine. Not for me, not for, like, I wouldn't, I like cook, eating other people's fancy food. I don't like cooking fancy. So a little bit of brown, like this, and then you toss. Um, and you are respecting this industry. Thank you. Okay, what is in a pina colada? And can I still dance if there's no rain? I have coconut milk, I've got pineapple juice. What else, people? I said I'd make it and I, I have to, it's just, it's a must. You know, I'm a girl of my honor. Pineapple and coconut. That's it. Okay, ice. Coconut milk. Tiny umbrella. I don't I, I don't know where you buy tiny umbrellas. If I can ask for one thing, can someone send me some umbrellas? No glitter, but umbrellas. I'll have. Tiny umbrella still. Uh, coconut milk. Coconut, uh, it's not coconut milk. Pineapple juice. Just make sure that this is pineapple juice and not egg white. Like that. And rum. You don't have to tell me twice. Where's that? I have a stash I can send you from my cupcake baking days. Would you use them if we sent them? Yeah, I'll, I'll use them in every cocktail we make. Don't send me lots. Send me some. 
Okay. Blending. Shut your ears. Fun lots. Like 50? That'll last me a long time. Okay. Salute. How do you say, um, like, um, like cheers in Turkish. Serifi? Serifi? You should pronounce sh Sharifi. Sh Sharif? Sharifi. Okay. Sharifi. Ooh, it's not very sweet. But it's good. Open wide when you say E. Open wide. Sharife, 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 eh, not like I, Sharife. It needs to be sweeter, but it's nice. Not my favorite cocktail, but it's good. I'd rather a coquito. Not like Sheriff. Hold on. Let me get the Google out. How do I do it? S E R E M. Pronunciation. Listen to the Turkish version. Okay, in Turkish. Here we go. On loud. Sherefe. 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 Is that good? Sherefe. 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 I love it. Salute. Saudaj, Sauj, not Saudaj, Saudaj is wrong. Cheese, Proust. Mm. Delish. Okay, last little bits for our cake. Coconut in the middle. Delicious. Hello, hello guys. We were just talking about how to say cheese in Turkish. Welcome in. How you doing, doctor? Hobbit gang. Hello, papa, welcome in. Cheers. Um, guys, we're making, we're just getting done. We've done carrot cake. Um, we've been learning about Turkey. We got a massive raid from a Turkish master chef streamer. So we're learning about Turkey today and Turkish um, words and Turkish food. We made kenefe from Turkey. We did fish tacos and chicken tacos and carrot cake. How you been? What's happening? Oh, I was reading out that tweet. Someone tweeted Mylan about some shit. And I just, oh, I think it was ridiculous. Um, how dare you put your mental health and your baby and your family first? Fuck you, Mylan. You need to start making more video content and good stuff too. Crazy. Enough for everyone? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this recipe will be on our website on Monday. 
Uh, if you, look at this. Look at that. Uh, so guys, if you don't know me, my name is Molly. We're a cooking stream. We recreate different food items from games, TV shows, or movies. But my most biggest passion is just levelingly, leveling you up in your cooking game to be the best home cooks you can be. Um, I'm also a, um, a Titan in Destiny 2. Mylan introduced me to Destiny. And I've been, uh, if you, <clears throat> been playing on uh, Legendary. Thank you very much. I've um, been pretty good. I've been loving it. Um, berserking. Mylan said you were the law master. Oh my God, I, I know so much more about the law um, now because I watched this four hour video on the law. And okay, so I've been telling XC little tidbits when, as we've been playing. I haven't done the raid yet. I really would like to. You wanna do it with me? Um, so I know about Marisol, I forget his name, Marisol's brother killed Cade Six, oh my God. I was like shocked by that. And then they let him back in. And it's like, no, yo man, you killed our best friend, but we love you. It's a bit crazy. Um, Hobbit gang will help out. Sounds good. Sounds good. I love that. Okay. Um, let's cut the cake. I'm gonna cut it just a small slice so we can see inside. The recipe will be at MissMollyMakes.com. So if you like some good, simple home cooking recipes, MissMollyMakes.com. Titans are best class. Cheers. Do you know what the veil is? Yes. Um, I watch Mylan Games, uh, his video content. They're not, they've been pretty subpar lately, let's be honest. God, he thought he could have a child. God, doesn't put his content first. Um, maybe you can teach Marlon about it. <laughs> Don't, guys, let's be honest. The ba that's, that's like basic law. The, the veil, God, I just don't know how people can't work it out. Seriously. The veil is just, you guys, you just need to go back to school and study. Destin, like the bungee are literally putting all the information right there. They might be covering it with a few more other stories and a bit, bit you know, it might be as obvious, but it's there. You just could look harder. We've gone from cooking to talking destiny. I apologize. He's very disconnected and apathetic. <laughs> okay. How many of you like cake? Let everyone know what the veil is then. No one knows. Hey, it's all in time. The bungee crew, they're just working it out themselves and then they will, they'll get to it, okay? They were just hoping you didn't ask the question. They were just hoping that everyone would be like, oh, strand, strand, strand. They wouldn't care about the veil. How many of you are actually playing strand? Mm. About the neck clothy thing, basically, yeah. Okay. Look at this cake. Someone said love cake. Love cake is amazing. Oh, Persian love cake. Yeah. Okay. Look at this. It's a thing of beauty. Why is my... There we go. Look at that. Can't take strand off me, Titan or Warlock. A strand cake one day. We'll just have to talk to Bungie. Yeah, I'd like to make a strand cake. Okay, ready? I need to take a photo of this for the website so I can't take too much. I'm like, yeah, everyone. Here's my ad break. No, not really. Um, a little bit about us and who we are at this channel. If you haven't hit the follow button, do it. Tell your friends. Tell your Hobbit crew to come and give us a follow. This is about what this stream is. Does.
Oh, you're back. Welcome in. Now I want cake. Look at this. Oh, the video needs more Mylan in a maid outfit. Yeah, he's moved too far away now. And he got a family. He's... He can't be your maid anymore, guys. He's out of touch. All right, you ready? Oh. Oh, yes. Look at that. Oh. Ah! Look at that. All right, so just tidy it up so it looks like it's a neat edge. Look at that. Guys. Moist. Beautiful cake, pineapple, carrot, walnuts, coconut, cream cheese frosting. Look at that. Can you just see my beautiful cake? Damn. Guys, look at that. Cake is packed. Perfect for Easter. Mmm. Let's have a taste. I made a few changes to it. I'm ready for that to be my life. We also added some spice rum in there. We had a little bit of drizzle of spice rum. Okay. Let's have a taste. Bit of cream cheese frosting. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's good. Not boozy enough, but it's good. The bit's so big I don't need my glasses. Mm. It's really fluffy, really moist. Damn. Toasted coconut on top, walnuts. Spectacular. Um, okay. So, guys. We've got some beer battered fish and beer battered chicken. The question is, what is your DOTD? What is your dish of the day? So we've got cake. We got beer battered fish, beer battered chicken, beer battered fries. These are probably the best fries I've ever made. They're so good. Beer battered chippies. Mmm. And then we got kanifi. This is a Turkish dessert that is basically layers of this like thin pastry with mozzarella, more pastry, and then you um, and pistachios, and then you drizzle like a sugar syrup on top. It's amazing. Shout out to my Turkish fam. Thank you everyone for your advice today on this. It's amazing. I appreciate it. Hopefully I uh, did it well and um, showed off your beautiful cuisine. Kampachi, 12.40 a.m. Now I'm really hungry. You have to go and get some snacks. Get into the kitchen. Sounds not too far off baklava. It's kind of like a baklava, yeah, but it's got cheese inside. It needs to be warmed up, but it was good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Zayn, 100%. Midnight snacks, best snacks. So, what is your dish of the day, everybody? What are you going for? You like savory tacos, fish tacos, um, the carrot cake, the kanifi, the cake, the cake, the cake, the cake. So make sure if you are here for the first time, hit the follow button. Come and hang out with us Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Uh, our next stream is all things soup. The cake like the veil. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so all things soup. We're making, I think, Italian wedding soup, chicken and corn like... You know, oh, my God. I'm, I can hear myself. Um... Chicken and corn, like, you know, egg drop soup? Law soup. I don't know about that. Oh, I like that emote. That's pretty cool. Um, and what else? We're also going to be doing... 
wonton soup? I don't know. No, tomato soup. Tomato soup. So um, we asked for some suggestions. Mozzarella and sugar syrup. What does that taste like? Good. Really good. Egg drop soup is the best. Mm -hmm. Better with corn, chicken and corn in there. Delicious. Well, yeah, it's not traditionally mozzarella, but the Turkish cheese is very, very hard to find, so I use mozzarella. And a lot of people in Australia use mozzarella. This stream is so much wholesome, I'm not getting yelled at. What is this, hobbits? I'm feeling uncomfortable. Yeah, guys, you know what you should do? Is whatever Papa is playing, whenever um, Mylan's playing, just have a tab open and come and hang out with us. If you need some, you just need some, um, someone to feel, tell you you're good, feel, feel good about yourself, just come over here and then go back. Flick between. <laughs> I'd watch you only watch Marlon. I feel like most rooms don't yell at you. Um, it's bliss. That's why you can have a bit of balance, you know? I'll cuddle you and then he'll, he'll yell at you. <laughs> In Turkey, it's on salted cheese, yeah. <laughs> um, hit the follow button. Thanks for hanging out with us. Um, let's go and raid. Who do we want to go and see? Um... Cooking or not cooking? You feeling and seeing the stretchiness of cheese? Oh, yeah. Mm. Um, thank you, everyone, for the, all of the amazing raids. Thank you for the subs, the resubs and gifted subs. Um, yeah, let's raid Negan. Guys, you come over in a raid. I need you to do me a solid and let's re-raid. Not just yet, though, because you need to listen to my song, okay? Copy and paste the red call message. T-H-A-N-K-Y-O-U. <laughs> um, Liz, thank you for 14 months. Aral, thank you for gifting subs and um, subbing yourself. Thank you for uh, the five subs. Mylan rated Ali Sunsun for 11 months. Silver Bullet for four months. Liz, Aral. Um, G Z N R R is uh, Kumal. Is that how it, I forgot his name? Um, Ali Sansan and all of the gifted subs. Really appreciate you. Thank you so much for bringing your community. If you come over from a raid, please thank that person who bought you. Um, take care, brush your hair, be good to yourself and those around you. Uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic week, and we'll see you back on Friday for soup. It's going to be delicious. So next time on. Hit the follow button, turn the notifications on, and we'll see you next time. Join Discord, and we will see you on Friday. Thank you, Molly Topians. Thank you, Mods. Thank you for being here.